Hello there, my lumpies and germs. We are not playing Control, don't worry. This, this is just my Steam homepage. How are we doing? We doing okay? We okay, guys? Who we got in the chat? Ah, oh, We've got a Heather in the chat from MAGFest. Hey, how's it going? Hello. Oh, Keris is saying hi as well. How's it going, everybody? Oh, yeah, my hair is now... It's got to the length now where it's deciding to part down the middle naturally, so excuse the stupid curtain hairstyle. I can't really fix it right now. I can't do the side fringe shit anymore. It, it doesn't work. It look, look. It looks like... Uh, it look, I look like a palm tree, so I, I need to be careful with that. Ooh. Anyway. Um... Oh, Heather's saying it's it's her birthday on the 31st. Okay, I will remember that. And she says hi, Keris, as well. I see Ryan in there. Hey, dude, how's it going? Um, oh, God, we've got a pre-hype train going. Thank you, Inflim, again. You're, you want, you're desperate to be the conductor of this ship, aren't you? Thank Well, thank you. That's very kind of you. And Abyss Wraith has kicked off with two gifted subs as well. Very kind. Awesome. Right, now... We are... Yes, like I said in the title of this, um, this stream, and, of course, um... Um, with, well, I'm just going to tell you right now, we are looking to, um, 100% finish this game. I think it's possible. I'm more awake. I'm more attuned with my platforming senses. I think it's definitely doable. Hey, Joseph Bandicoot, how's it going? Got to skip all of this shit because otherwise I'm going to get a copyright strike. Uh, there we go. Right. Is the TV even on? Oh yeah, it's just really quiet. Oof. Okay. There we go. And I think, I, I'm, I'm glad, though, in the last part, we fixed the stupid goddamn fucking um, frame rate problem. I think we've now sorted the problem out entirely, which is very, very cool. We're being raided with Banookas from AwesomeGuy51303. That is a lot of numbers. Thank you so much. Like, you have two people to raid, and you've got 51,303 in your name, and you're apparently awesome. Well, you are if you did a raid. Very kind of you. I will admit one thing, though. I, when I say I'm 100%ing this game, this does mean I am going to be 100%ing um, achievements as well. And I did have a quick look at the Steam achievements to see what it is that I need to do. Thank you for the subscription, Cyanide Rose Cosplay. Um, I did have a look at the achievements list to see what I need to do. Luckily, the only ones I need to get relate to just completing the levels and completing the game, which I was going to do anyway. But there's one hidden secret achievement. And unfortunately, I was too curious and I had to look at what it was. Because if it's a secret, how am I ever going to find it? Turns out you get an achievement for talking to Squidward over and over again until he gets pissed off with you. Apparently. Um, I don't know if that's true. Um, it could have been a phony website. But let's, I'm just going to see what happens. Oh, it won't let me. There you go. Are you ready now? So I've already spoken to him eight times before. Oh, in the whole game. Wow, that's a weird secret achievement. I just spoke to him twice and got the achievement, so I've already spoken to him eight times. That's weird. That's a very strange achievement to put in the game. Weird. Anyway. <laughs> um, oh, Cracked Tea, thanks for the 100 bits. Hope you're feeling better. I'll be listening while playing Animal Crossing, redoing my island. Wow, you relate with Keris more than you realise. That's what she does. She listens in, ignores everything that's going on. Well, a, a lot of it. A lot of it. She even kept Keris came downstairs early after having a shower, and she said, "I didn't want to miss your stream so much that I didn't even what I didn't even dry my hair," uh, which is commitment. But then I have to ask, what's the point if you're not going to watch the stream anyway and play Animal Crossing? Well, you could have you could have you could have washed your hair. No, you, dry your hair. You have washed your hair. Sorry, did I just give away a big secret? You do. I, Puka Bound, thanks for the 100 bits. Hey, Radical Cadical. That's the best nickname anyone's ever given me. Mind rating my British accent. Here it goes. Why, hello there, bugger this and such. Am I right? Am I right isn't a, isn't a UK saying. You had it. Uh, you had it. And such? No, that's an American thing as well, actually. Why, hello there, bugger this. That's That was English, but... And such, am I right? That's more American. I'd say if you put in it instead of am I right, you probably would have nailed it. Skikix, thanks for the resubscription. Bikini for the bottom battle. <laughs> yes, that's that's what we're doing. We're battling for it right now. And we are going up to a level in the game which everybody in the chat, were, uh, when I jumped in yesterday, no, two days ago, everyone said the kelp forest was a nightmare. Not looking forward to it because the flying Dutchman was a bit annoying. But now we're entering some... We're entering the, the bottom of the barrel now, apparently. So we'll see what happens. 
Spartan Gamer 1989, thanks for the $13.35. Hey, Caddy, hope you're feeling better. Good luck on SpongeBob. And yes, it was my first donational stream more ever, so this is my second time. I remember that. Damn, that's so, so nice of you. Jesus Christ. So kind of you. Second donation of, like, all time on any streamer. I thought it was just, like, for me, but you... I don't even know what to say to that. I feel blessed. Thank you. Keep being cool, dude, from Joanna. Thank you so much. Monty Bojangles has crushed that sad little inflatable. Um, thanks for the 200 bits. Steve the Weave is back! Hijacking the stream with his uh, inner... Oh, God, the leaves attack us. Oh, fucking hell. This is going to be a great level. Um, so I understand there is a broken achievement. Happy hunting. Does, oh, little does he know this is all a ruse. Mwahaha. Shit, Mike's still on. Well, your keyboard was still on more accurately, but yes. You can't you can't you can't get me upset. Oh god, we get are we in the middle of a hype train right now? We're getting quite a lot of um quite a lot of um support right now. Thank you so much everybody. Daddy cool 50 bits. Hey, how's it going? Nice to see you again. Hello Daddy Caddy. Just a random question. What's your favorite type of music and who's your favorite band? Um my favorite type of music is there is no favorite type of music. I like all sorts of stuff and my favorite band is uh, Tend to be, well, Blondie for one of them. One of them's Blondie. System of a Down, um, Rush, Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds. Um, and they're kind of at, they're kind of at the tippy tippy top. And um, yeah, the but the ones below like Credence Clearwater Revival, the Water Boys, stuff like that. Kind of and beat the Beatles, all that kind of stuff swaps in the bottom up to the top ten. So yeah. Oh goodness, soaking wet, two hundred bits. Kelp Forest may be rough. But now you seem a little bit more rested and ready. Yes, and I'm also very damp, thanks to you. So thank you. Yeah, well, yeah, you've you've become a, you're becoming a joke in the house whenever the dishes are being washed. You're getting soaking wet, just like soaking wet. That's what we say. Cyanide Rose Cosplay. Ah, oh, subscription and then bits. Thank you so much. Hi, Kelly. My partner introduced me to your YouTube channel a few years ago, and you, and they've made me giggle as, as I've been working from home. Hope you, Kerry, girls and Stan are doing well. Get that bikini for us all. I will try. Thank you so much. Very kind of you. Cracked tea, another 100 bits. Well, I am on 425 hours on Animal Crossing. It's been my lockdown game. But still none of my islands have shouted that they love me. Oh, that's sad. Keris has only loved one islander, and they've got to the point of love. So, like, she gave him a, tux a wedding tuxedo, and he hasn't taken it off yet. He's obsessed with... Oh, Clemps has just raided us with 114 Banukas. Well, the love is strong today, guys. Thank you so much. It is that Friday feeling. Where everybody should be going out and having a nice time. Um, but A, it's locked down. And B, we all like watching people play games. So we probably wouldn't have gone out anyway because we're sad. So that's great. I love it. Thank you. Um, anyway, Cracked Tea. Yeah. And also, I think Keris has said that she's actually on um, 500 hours, did you say, on Animal Crossing? 500 or more. Oh, it, when it says or more, it's not. it's like it doesn't even know. <laughs> Probably, yeah. So is it going to start counting up in the nearest, like, tens of hours now? Because if it is, that's hilarious. Oh, dearie me. Well, that's good, though. Like I said earlier, it's like a virtual dollhouse, isn't it? When you're playing Animal Crossing. It's something that you just constantly mess around with. Wow. Uh, there's a sock. For just doing a basic mechanic. That's awesome, thank you. Anyway, um, little odd thirteen subscribed in Flim, a hundred bits. Yes, hype train, <laughs> hype train, more bits make Caddy happy. I am happy. I was happy before I started, and now I'm so happy. I'm gonna irritate everybody. So that's your fault. Um, anyway, sorry, where are we? Um, Angelica Arax, thanks for the one hundred bits. I'd like to put the season collections on when I'm doing terraria maintenance and housework. Also makes for great dog sitting when we're out for the day. Oh, I I dog sit without even realizing it. That's cr that's crazy. I didn't even realize there would be a um, what's it um, what's it called when something happens that's good that wasn't supposed to happen? A, a side not a side effect. That's a bad thing. A um, no, when something you do something, no, you do something that you that's good and you like. No, you do something that's good. Yeah, I'm, I'm God. Let me explain. You do something that's good, and then it affects other things in other ways in a good way that you didn't intend. What? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not mansplaining you. I was asking what it was. That's like man asking. <laughs> I was man asking. Oh. 
Unintentionally, I don't, I don't know, I don't know. Happy accident, guy. I don't know. I. This is me when I forget words. I'm terrible. Um, but anyway, um, yeah. In a way, I didn't even realize. Unintentional and un un unintentional good uh, vibes. No, oh yes, Mrs. Pump. Pump sorry. Why do you say that? Do you think we'd have class out here? Just anyway, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've never thought about them being her nipples, but you know, they might be. Anyway, I'm going to read some more things. Own on Havoc when resub for three months. Thank you. Hi, hope you're doing well. I am, thank you. Rubber dingy wraps says <laughs> subscribe. Thank you. Folk Metalhead donated $10. Keep up the great work, you hilarious bit. Hope you're doing well. I am. Thank you very much, and thanks for the support. Oh, no, I have a woman 100 bits. Hope you're enjoying the game. I quite enjoy it myself. Yes, it's good fun. Um, Aussie Azoi, 50 bits. Hi, Caddy. Sorry I missed the last stream, and thanks for playing one of the most nostalgic games from my childhood. I'll be getting the last Platinum Renegades in Crash 2 while I watch the stream and have a Crash Bandicoot story I'll share later. Please do, because Crash 2 is not an easy game to get the Platinum Relics on. Because much like Crash 1, Crash 2 is not built to be rushed. There was no dashing power-up in that game. So when they added it in the Insane Trilogy, it's like, oh look, now you're doing all of these levels that you could jog through comfortably, but now you've got to speed through them as fast as possible when the game was never designed for it in the first place. In many ways, it's harder than Platinum Relic in Crash 1. Because at least with Crash 1, yeah, the game isn't built to be rushed, but you aren't given a crash dash to rush by anything that you shouldn't be rushing by. But with Crash 2... You are given a way to break the game, and it doesn't break it, it makes it harder. Already this level is kind of all over the place in terms of, like... I can't really f put my finger on the structure yet. I suppose we'll learn... Oh, where are you going? Where are you off to? Ah, that's a nice ranch you have. Thank you. Oh, dog's at the door. Oh, thanks, Ames. I'm not sure if this is where I should... Oh, is this another bowling platform? Oh, it's a missile platform. Cool, okay. Mid-aisle. That was my um, Wipeout 2097 announcer voice. It's the same thing. Right, where does this take us? All the way back here, great. Sweet, so we've got a campsite here. Got a ranger. Okay, I can see like there might be things like not being able to go into these tents or that might be a mechanic or... Uh... Oh! Porter head? What, do you go in there to get... Oh, sorry, I can't be rude, the kids are up. I gonna say, it's like a porter potty, but instead of going for the potty, you go for head instead. Yeah, they won't know what that means. Like, yeah, I can slip. I can slip that in. That's fine. Wow, I just realised how bad that sounded. Oh Christ! Well, at least again, they're too young to know what that means. Yeah, but she doesn't know what that means. I don't think. No, she's not even listening. Yeah. Yeah, she's not listening. See. Thanks, Blaze Water Sage, for the fifty bits. Hello, Caddy. Hope you're doing good today. How are you finding this game? Would you recommend it? Yes, I would. Game's good. It's it's really good. It's um, um, I've said a few times when I started streaming and I got like start streaming this and I got into the first few levels. I did say a few times over. Oh God. Ah, he's so heavy to control. Yeah, I have said like, as, as, if you want to get your your kids into into collector thons or you want to see. The basic ideas of what a collectathon is and what their potential, what their potentials are. This is a good place to start. It's not as intense and um, unforgiving as something like Mario 64, and it's um, yeah, it's relatively simple, but it has challenging moments. It's it's a it's a, it's really well balanced. I just think the ending parts of the game are a little bit messy. That's all. These last few levels haven't impressed me as much as the first few. Yeah, it doesn't do anything innovat that innovative or that new with the genre. Not every like, not every single level is hitting, but it's it's very very decent. It looks beautiful. Oh, I gotta find all the campers. Yes, I forgot. <laughs> so that's how we do it, right? 
Oh, okay, maybe this place isn't going to be so bad. It looks pretty linear. Uh, maybe it'll be all right. Thanks, Silverblade, for the subscription. Very kind of you. Yeah, I think if I, if I was to give... So far, if I was to give this a rating out of 10... Because it does have flaws, it does have issues, and it's not that innovative in the first place. Um, when you've already played Banjo-Kazooie, Mario 64, and like Toy Story 2 and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, it doesn't do much with the genre, but it, it's it's solid, and um, it does have flaws. But I think I'd give it like an 8, I suppose. But as a remaster, it's, fo it's phenomenal as a remaster. Haven't had any performance problems whatsoever. It looks gorgeous, like it's one of the best looking platformers I've ever seen. And, um, yeah, I do recommend it. Highly recommend it. It's not too long, either. It's a good length. I've been playing for about 11 hours so far. And I don't feel like it's overstaying its welcome. Ah, I know I know. this is the harder way to do it, but I really can't be bothered. This, it, It's just easier for me to get rid of them that way. Trey Speak, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Caddy! Been watching your stuff for a long time, but I've only just started watching the Twitch recently. Thanks for being cool. Cure. Thank you so much. Cure. Uh, Magnum Wanderer subscribe. Thank you so much. Very kind of you. Okay, let's keep going on and see what we can find. Well, that makes me feel good at least, because like, if the hidden achievement I already unlocked at the start of this stream by just talking to Squidward a few times... Um, then I do happen to know that the last achievements I need to finish this game off just so happen to be collectathon related, which means I don't have to get 40,000 shiny objects in order to um, complete the game with the um, unlocking the um, theater, which I was really worried about because you don't, you can't get, like, getting 40,000 of these things would take a long time, and I was not prepared to do that on stream. Thank you, Pookabound, for the 50 bits. I picked up the British accent from watching your vids all those years ago. Never cease to be a Never cease to be amazed by it. Wait. Oh god, I'm getting I'm getting lost. And never cease to be amazed by the enunciations, not to sound like a tourist. <laughs> In what way? Enunciations of what? Like the way we say certain words. Like bath and glass instead of bath and glass. Like what do you, what, what kind of enunciations do you mean? Uh, yeah. Yeah, we call them vases, not vases. Oh, Pat. We need Pat. Postman Pat. Postman Pat. Postman Pat and his fat old stomach. <laughs> and his black and white fat. Thank you, Manic Grounds, for the 100 bits. Oh, and Zenmus 13 for the 100 bits. I'll read Zenmus first. I would say in the retrospective of a remake, it does it justice. It doesn't change too much, but doesn't have to. It has flaws, but it's a solid game that stays true to the original without changing too much. Yeah, I can't comment on how it is compared to the original. All I can do is compare it to how it how the original looks based off of video reviews I've seen. And, like, I've seen what Kelp Forest and Jellyfish Fields and Rock Bottom looked like on the original game. It looks muggy as hell. I don't know how anybody played that in the past. Like, without turning the brightness up on their TV. It's really, really dark and, like, foggy and muggy and ugly. Um, but yeah, like, as far as, like, the upgrade goes, I think it's great. It's fantastic. And Manic Realms. Kelp Forest isn't perfect level, but at least in Hydrated, the devs fixed it to be a bit better. The original was too dark and murky. It was difficult to navigate. I'd say that's exactly what I was just saying, yeah. I can't, I can't imagine doing something like the Flying Dutchman's Graveyard with barely any way to see doesn't sound fun. Oh, I need Pat, don't I? I'm getting lost. I'm, I'm looking at everybody's generosity and getting completely lost. Right, so I need to get up there with Pat. And the bus stop is down here, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Oh, here comes Tubby. Let's go. So Tubby that when he jumps, he makes boinging no... Oh! I did it! I, I I touched the side of the cliff and I won the game! Yay! Oh, oh, fantastic. Anyway, where are we? Um, oh yeah, I gotta jump on this. And then jump on there. So your so your campsite's down there, and you got lost up here. You know what you deserve to live in Kelp Forest, you absolute twat. Okay, right, let's go this way. 
Okay, we've got some pat platforming to pat forming, Patrick forming to do here. Ooh. Throw it across. Can we bounce with it? We can. Sweet. Well, already I'm preferring this over, um, um, uh, what was the level we did where I just got completely, was it the Flying Dutch? No, there was another level. I'm pretty sure there was another level that I wasn't too fond of. Oh, I can't remember which one it was. Maybe it was the Dutchman. Either way, I think this is, this is, this so far is, is not giving me awful vibes, so I'm okay with it. Alright, let's get up here. Grab that. Do some bouncing. Oh, being able to move the camera while you're bouncing would be nice. Wait, where do we throw it? There? Don't explode, don't explode, please don't explode. Oh, that was close. Woo! How many of these do I have to carry? There we go. Awesome, right. Yeah, I quite like the level. This is this is reminding me a lot of a Spyro level, like like lots of lots of verticality, but still relatively linear. Like lots of places to explore and branching paths away from the single path. I quite like it. Rainbow Snack, thanks for the hundred bits. You don't play the original Kelp Forest. You either skip it because you're done enough, or you suffer for that hundred percent. Wow, is it really that bad? I mean, from what I've seen, it looks bloody horrendous. But yeah. As a, a design-wise, it seems fine so far. I don't mind this at all. Especially compared to all the random rules and everything that, like, um... Um... SpongeBob's Dream and all, like, um... The, uh... Not Mr. Krabs, um... The, uh... Flying Dutchman's Graveyard have done. Like, they're not terrible, don't get me wrong, but they're just... They just feel completely random and unthought about. Like, oh, we're at the end of the game, we need to make it harder, but how do we do that? Oh, well, let's just make things up. Like, yeah. There it is. I figured there'd be something I'll along here. Get back on the... Yeah, come on. There we go. Declan Malloy 22 thank you so much for the 50 bits. Thoughts on Mario Galaxy? Oh, one of my favorite... Well, uh, ma probably my favorite Mario game. Absolutely love it to death. Mario Galaxy 2 is... Um, is... Oh, God... I just... Who was it that was saying that you really liked the enunciations? Um, P Puka Bound. Um, yeah, I just said Mario Galaxy. I don't think you should be looking up to British people. We suck. Um, anyway. Sorry, yeah, it's one of my favourites. One of my favourite Mario games, if not my favourite Mario game. I like 2 a lot for the gameplay, but in terms of a complete package, I don't think you can beat the first one. The first one has everything. The, the second one feels like an extension to the first one. Like a DLC pack or something. Which is fine for the gameplay end of things, because, you know, Mario's never been focused on story. But the fact that they did have a story in there, like, with Ro um, Rosalina and everything. And they had the hub world. That, yeah, you couldn't do much in it, but still, like, you couldn't do that much in um, Peach's Castle. So it's like, I'm, I'm okay with it. I think it just adds to the world. Manic Realms 50 bits. Also, how are your elbows doing from the chair bruises? <laughs> yeah, they're, they're, they're doing alright. Um, you can't really see, but they hurt. Um... You, I only feel the um, the elbow, the el elbow pain once um, like in the last few days of the edits when I'm fully fully in in absorbed on my PC and I'm fully editing for hours and hours straight, like that's when that's when I feel it. But in general, day to day use, it's okay. I managed to order myself another chair. Thanks for all the recommendations on Twitter, by the way. Some of them were a bit too expensive for me, or they looked really comfy to sit on, but still had the plastic, horrible, rigid armrests, which is not what I was looking for. Like, that just... Ah, oh, Patrick, you completely annihilated that. Good old fish. Good old starfish. But yeah, so I had to find one that, like, had it. The sitting wasn't the problem. I don't get backache or anything. It was just elbow ache. And a lot of the ones that people were sharing me looked gorgeous to sit on. One of them even had, um, as the tweeter put it, arse groves. It's like, yo, you want arse groves in your chair? Here they are. And I was I was impressed. Um, don't get me wrong, I was impressed. But yeah, it still had the awful armrests. And that was the main important thing I was looking for. Oh, damn. There's something over there. Or maybe there isn't something over there. Maybe it's just a load of random platforms. 
I think I'm done everything here. I think I can move on to the next bit. Yeah, looks good to me. Thank you, my, um, sorry, mid-empire, not my empire um, 95 bits. I remember having to collect 108 of shiny, thousand shiny objects from Mr. Krabs for all the spatulas. Yep, I heard about that in another stream as well. Sounds miserable. Then finding out after I'd collected all of 108,000 and giving them to him, they released a new patch that significantly lowered the amount you needed to give him overall. Oh, you mean like on this, on this version of the game? I heard that they, uh, the original was bad and then they fixed it for this game. Maybe they didn't fix it immediately. That's the worst thing that they could have done in the game. I don't know why it wasn't taken out from day one. That's terrible. I'm struggling to imagine what this would look like in dark PS2 graphics. Like, they've managed to brighten it up quite a bit. Like, is the water dark colours or something? Like, is it hard to distinguish cliff faces from the tops of the platforms and stuff? I'm not sure. I have to look at pictures. Trepidano's 50 pits. We need to get you some elbow pads for real. Hopefully these bits will help for that. Oh, thank you so much. I actually did manage to find myself a really nice chair on Amazon. Wasn't um, wasn't the most expensive, wasn't the most cheap, but it looked cozy as hell. And all the reviews were like five stars. They were like 185 star reviews. So that's when you know you got something good. Pretty Blue Flowers, thank you for the 100 bits. Just discovered your channel. Love the retro PS1 reviews. Will you do more Harry Potter games, please? I'm considering it. But then, bearing in mind, you know, JK being a big old JK at the moment, you know, being a big joke, joke rolling, um, <laughs> um, being being how she's being right now, she's still profiting and get, getting exposure off of the way she's behaving. And she can behave however she wants, but if it's behavior that I'm not fond of, then I'm not going to feed into it, so... Yeah, I'm probably going to stay away from Potter stuff for a while. Um, but I did have a plan because I played the shit out of Chamber of Secrets on the PS2. And I've got it on Xbox now for the uh, for the Xbox 360 backward compatibility. So it would be like upscaled in HD and it will look awesome and I can't wait. But yeah, I'm going to keep I'm going to keep away from it for the time being. <sighs> oh, Pat, you nearly slipped off there. But thanks for the just discovering the channel and going out of your way to find the Twitch channel. That's very kind of you. Most people that have been subscribed to me for years don't even know I stream, so that's incredible. Thank you. Yeah, this is the biggest problem with the game as far as I'm concerned. Not being able to turn the camera while you're bouncing. You can turn it left and right. I'll just show you again so that you know I'm not bullshitting. Look, you cannot move the camera up and down. It doesn't work. You can move it left and right but you cannot move it up and down. So when you're trying to bounce to platforms and you can't tell where your body is, you have to make sure that you've moved the camera down in advance, which is really irritating. It takes the flow out of platforming a bit. Inflim 100 bits. Wait, Caddy Streams? I didn't know this. Yeah, didn't you know? I heard that this guy called Inflim tries to start the streams off with this stupid hype train. It's not stupid. I love it. Thank you. Wolfcraft it in it, 100 bits. Text message. Twitch is being kind of weird for me today. Oh, test message, not text message. I was going to say, did you text Twitch? I don't think they'd fix a problem if you texted them. What's up, babes? DM me. That's what Twitch would say. Ah, I found a camper. How many socks are here, by the way? I think I'm going to assume that this is the final level that we need to do. Oh, no, there's a chum bucket as well. But, um, yeah, seven socks. So, how many socks have I got right now? Six socks, and I need three more. Hmm, I'm missing a sock somewhere, because then that rounds it up to a nice ten. Maybe there's one in the chum bucket. Oh, my goodness gracious, you guys are being too nice. You're being way too nice. Give me a sec. Um, goodness, um, we've got, um, Harper Onions with 200 bits. Hey, Caddy, say hi to Keris for me. Uh, oh my god. Um, yeah, you're being really nice with saying hi to Kara. She says hello. By the way, JK claimed she hasn't hurt trans people when she returned when she returned an award. Yeah, I heard she returned an award. Um, so it's nice to see that she returned it for the wrong reasons. Um, Trepidano's 50 bits. Will you be looking into other older Nickelodeon games like Fairly Odd Parents, Breaking the Rules, and others for potential videos? If they're good. I only, I'm only playing this one because I know it's good. I'm not a massive Nickelodeon guy aside from a few episodes of this from the early seasons, and Rugrats. I'm obsessed with Rugrats. I love Rugrats. 
Um, but yeah, I mean, if they're good and they're like, that's the thing. I've heard that this is one of the pe like platforming classics of the um, seventh. Is it the seventh generation PS2? I don't know. Um, but yeah, I've heard from lots of people. Reset the stone team. What? What's going? What's going on? Reset it. Why reset? What? What have I got? Oh, to pick it up. Oh, fucking idiot. Okay. Anyway, sorry. I'm gonna catch up with everyone else as well. CV, thank you so much for 500 bits. That's really kind of you. Have some bits for entertaining me for at least four years with your spot on humor containing YouTube videos. Glad to see that your live streaming as well gives me a chance to toss you some money. I thought you were going to say toss you off and I would have told you off. Thank you so much. Manga King 333, 50 bits. Thank you so much. Right, what am I doing with this? Right. So what does what does this do then? Oh, shit. What? What's the point of any of this? So... Can I go and get another one? So what happens if I reset it? Does it, does it come off of the scales? Yeah, it vanishes off of the scales. Okay. Uh, yeah, sorry. Manga King, 50 bits. Um, sorry if this was asked already. I just tuned in. Did you see the new feature in Crash 4? Looks like you have to update your hardest platinum levels. Oh, they put time trials in. I mean, I'm planning, I'm thinking about doing a one-off video on Crash 4 purely because it's Crash 4 when it comes out. So, don't get me wrong, if I do end up doing that video, I will be doing everything 100%. So, that's going to be making the video way more fun. Hi, Mr. Krabs. What are you doing? Uh, where were we? Pretty Blue Flowers. Thank you for the 100 bits. In that case, would you consider the really cheap rip-off Fellowship of the Rings game? Bloody hilarious from my childhood. Meh. I'm not massive on Lord of the Rings. I like it, but I I have to be able to relate to it to some degree and be able to make contextual jokes and be able to speak off experience. And I can't do that with Lord of the Rings. I, I've got nothing to say about it. It's fantasy. Oh, they look ugly. Oh, that's scary. That why is that? I've got I've got nothing to base my knowledge on, so um, I probably not. But thanks for the suggestion, Damien Castaway. Five hundred bits. <sighs> I'm gonna run out of mouth by the end of this stream. Um, the return to rehydrated requires rehydration from bits and rehydration from water. Do not forget to drink your water. Just these ones though. I'm not going crazy again. Lol. I don't trust you, Damien. Ah, uh, anyway. Oh, wait, I'm trying to return three stone oh yes, it's Mr. Craps who can't speak so properly, so I just skip all of his dialogue. I hate it. It's so it's so not close. It's like when someone plays a violin decently, but you still hear off notes. You know, because someone playing a violin terribly is just bad, right? But Mr. Krabs is is sound. He sounds. I could say, oh, you're trying to sound like Mr. Krabs, but that's the thing. You're trying to sound like Mr. Krabs. Why reset? What, just in case you lose it down there or something? Yeah, it's 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 more painful me for me to hear him speak like that than it is for me to hear someone doing the worst impression of him. I'd rather they do the worst impression instead of trying to nearly, nearly, quite, perhaps, maybe, possibly get it. Okay, let's carry on down. Yeah. This one goes boom. Right. Do you think I would get away with a big old body slam? Oh, beautiful, Pat. Well done. Okay, we got some undies. And we've got a button there, which means there's a stone tiki head. Sweet. Let's go and sort it out. Yeah, so far I'm liking this level. Oh, it's not a tiki head. Shit. Where does this go then? Is there something around here? Waterfall, maybe? No, okay. Oh, I'm not sure. No, 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 no. Go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. No! Two! One! Fuck. I'm out. Jesus. Mid-Empire, thanks for the 500 bits. I know you have quite a bit of a backlog, but will you be reviewing or possibly streaming Oddworld Soulstorm when it's released? Absolutely, yeah. I have a, like, I had a backlog when Last of Us 2 came out, but it's, it was new, so that's why I jumped onto it. So, um, thank you. Um, anyway, sorry, where were we? Wolfcrafter in it, 100 bits. So I'm going to try typing this part one more time. Um, yeah, go for it. 
Sorry if this is spammy. The other bits didn't send in chat for some reason. But hey, Caddy, hope you're well. How, have cool slash scary news. I got a place in college today. Going to be studying film and TV. Sweet. Nicely done. Which, uh, uh, not to sound, not to sound awful. No, not awful. Not, no, I said the wrong word. Not to sound, um, ignorant is the word I was supposed to say. Not to sound ignorant. Um, are you UK based or US based? Because I studied film and TV uh, at UK school, and I hear it's a lot different from studying it in um, the US. Oh, the stone tiki's come back. Oh, that's a problem. Oh, that's a big oops. Oh, that's a big oof. I'm not sure about that. But congratulations either way. Hmm, okay, right. Let's figure out what this is all about before I do anything else because So I'm assuming this resets that oh no, it doesn't Oh, right. That's what the time limits for. Oh fucking hell. I should have hit that button to begin with. Okay, right. Go 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 Oh Look at that Do 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 Wow, that was a very generous time limit there. Thank you. Harper Onions, 200 bits. Butch Hartman, creator of Fairly Odd Parents and allegedly everyone's childhood, claims autism can be cured with Christianity. Yeah, I've heard that. I, I never... I, I, I don't understand, like... Yeah, the show um, Fairly Odd Parents could potentially be your childhood and everything, but you got to remember, people are still people, and he doesn't sound like the nicest person. I don't think he sounded like a good, nice person from the very beginning. I think he sounded messed up even before the whole culty shit he was talking about. Oh, balls. I've messed this up, haven't I? Well, how much do I lose? Do I lose... I've got 4,794 right now. Hmm. Haven't lost anything. Sweet. So I just need to find out where this hidden, um... Yeah, I gotta find out where this hidden, um, stone tiki thing is. It's probably back where Mr. Krabs was. Okay, when it comes to Butch Hartman, guys, right, look, this is something that that's like, this is just something I go by, this is a, a rule of life I go by, oh, really? I can't jump with them! Oh, dear, so hey, it begins. What just happened? Yeah, I don't know. Ah, uh, follow you over here. Yeah, like, okay, so before Butch started being really weird and shitty online and being openly horrible and being all god this, god that, and, you know, all that jazz, before that, the only impression I ever got from him was giant, giant ego. And I hate people with giant egos. I've never ever, like, what he's doing doesn't shock me. Um, and I don't feel like any part of my, like, I remember watching Fairly Old Parents when I was a kid. I don't, I don't feel ruined at all. That, like... The dude, the dude didn't seem right in the head to begin with, so it really doesn't surprise me at all. <laughs> so yeah, that's the rule I, I live by even today, which is if someone's got the biggest ego that's so big that they feel untouchable, and then they start saying stuff that they think makes them the authority on life, then don't be surprised, basically. We've got some more bits to have a look at here. Oh, whoops. So I'm in the UK, says Wolfcraft in it with 100 bits. I've tried before with a different place, but they weren't very nice people, but this one is promising. Well, I'm glad. Yeah, finding the right school is a bloody nightmare, especially when people are horrible. Just so you know, you definitely can't cheese it with only two tikis. Definitely. Oh, Declan Malloy? Apparently we can cheese it. I... okay. Cheesing means breaking the game and forcing it to do something it wasn't built to do. I don't know why it's called cheesing, actually. I guess it's because it's a 
I don't know, actually. No, I have no idea why it's called shit. It's just something that people say. Okay, right. Let's put this over here. I'm pretty sure the other one would be over here somewhere. If anywhere. Hmm. Okay, that's where we started, isn't it? Not, not sure. To be perfectly honest with you. Okay, that takes us back somewhere else. So we don't need to go there just yet. Does this take us back somewhere? Have we been down here? Ah, this is the beginning. Okay. Right, okay, so we have been down here. So we need to go back up again. Well, if I don't feel like I have to cheese it, I'm going to try and do it legit. Unless that's the point of the mission, I, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. Okay, let's get around here. Oh no, we've been here already! Ah, okay, maybe we're supposed to break the game. Unless it's a really, really difficult, long-winded platforming segment. Where I've got a... Oh god, you know what it might be. It might very well be. Oh jeez. Manga King 333 50 bits, thank you so much. Would you ever consider doing a follow-up to your Borderlands 3 video? I know many people have a problem with the story, but I personally, I find it the most fun and DLC have been top tier so far. I've got nothing to say with it, honestly. It's Borderlands. It's more Borderlands. I, I like, it's it's more Borderlands. I, I, it's good fun. Um, and if anyone was expecting more, I don't I don't know what they're expecting exactly. Based, based on the fact that they had made three games before it that were pretty much all the same. This one is more of the same, but just slightly more refined mechanically. So... That's all I care about. Um, no, I'm not going to do a follow-up video. I've got, I've got nothing to say about it. I could not make an interesting video about it, or even mention it in an interesting way. Hmm. So I can throw this at you. Oh, Declan Malloy. Oh wait, no, sorry. God, I'm getting lost here. So sorry, guys. Wait a minute. Where are we? Damien Castaway, again. You said you weren't going to do anything. Thank you. It's called cheating because it's a compound word of cheating and easy. Ah, okay, gotcha. Yeah, not eating. Yeah, that's a yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. Spending more of my shiny objects, which I kind of didn't want to do, but you know, whatever. Taste lays one says I love your Lego vid. Thank you so much. Okay, we've got Spongebob stuff to do over there. We found a camper over here, I'm guessing. Yep, nice. Where's the tiki? Is my next question. Hmm, is it through here? No, it can't be. This has taken us off to another location entirely. Maybe I do have to cheese it. I'm not sure. And I think I know how I'm supposed to cheese it, if there is a way. I think what they want you to do is pick the tiki head up while you're standing on the one that it's already been used on. I think that's what they're going to say in the chat. But I'm going to do it legit if I can. Alright, so we're back at the start. I haven't looked from the, um, the left-hand side of where those um, robots spawn from yet, so I'll go over there. Yeah, I haven't looked down here yet. <laughs> oh, at least I've got quite a few more... Um... Oh, jeez. I don't think I'm going to make that. Hmm. Is there another way around, maybe? Maybe that's the way I have to go. Maybe that's what's going to take me to... Is there a... Yeah, there's the... That is the way I'm supposed to go. Okay, I need to switch over to... Oh, should I switch over to SpongeBob? I'll clear it out with Spongebob first, and then I'll switch to Patrick and get the final Tiki, if that's where it is. I don't I don't know where it is, but... Jeez, get up there, Sponge. Thank you. Right, let's make our way back over. Wolfcrafter in it, thank you so much. Also, this is something I've been meaning to ask for, like, the previous times I've been in a stream. But have you played Five Nights at Freddy's? If so, what do you think of them? <laughs> they're, 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 they're games, um... I've got nothing against them. I think um, 3 is terrible. Um, I think they're coming out way too quickly. I think Scott Cawthon should calm the fuck down. 
he's doing great as it is. I think he needs to spend more time polishing everything and making something truly incredible instead of just keep making the same idea over and over again. Um, yeah, it's it's not really my thing, but yeah, you got to give credit to the first one. The first one's like classic. And the second one's ridiculously hard. Oh, no, I need Patrick. Are you kidding me? Okay, fine. You know what? Ah, shit. Right, I'm going to follow him. Is he going to make it? Sweet. Got him. Uh, anyway, where were we? 50 bits from Sweet Tooth. Hey, Caddy, ever tried every flavor beans? Yeah, some of them are really good, but, you, like, so many of them are so disgusting that you might as well just get jelly babies. Or jelly beans, sorry. Oh, this camera angle. I can't even see where I am height-wise. I was lucky there. 100 bits from Petite Mew. Thank you so much. Hope you're doing well, Caddy. Didn't know you studied media. What did you study? I've studied media studies, media production, and radio production. Just media studies. So, in all-encompassing film, print, and um, TV, and not video games. Um, you Like, if we did talk about games, it was usually just for an example of whatever theory we were discussing, but we never did any del... We didn't dive deep into them, because I guess with media studies, it's more about analyzing what you see and how it's presented instead of what you played. It's a, like playing games and watching films are two completely different things, so you can't expect them to be even remotely similar. Oh god. Okay, here we go. I feel like a new sponge. Hello, nice. Right, cleared the way. So what do Oh, what's that doing there? Oh, maybe it's to stop me from... Okay, wait, let's see what happens. Oh! I did that earlier. <laughs> oh, you're kidding. I just wasted my money, didn't I? Oh, no, I needed to open the gate. It's fine. Oh, dearie me. Okay, so we have the tiki up there. Balls to it, right? Okay, right. I love opening presents. So I'll get rid of the um, spawning machine just so it's out of the way. Oh, I forget that it blows up. Blow you up. Switch over to Patrick and grab it again. I remember some people in the chat last last stream were saying that. This was the worst level in terms of, like, switching back and forth between different characters all the time. I've got to disagree so far. Flying Dutchman, I was switching characters every couple of seconds. Like, that was a nightmare. And it wasn't just switching characters. It was going to a certain area, being locked out of it because I needed a character, going back to switch to that character, opening the door to get into that area, and then a few seconds later being blocked off by another thing by another character. Annoying as hell. Oh, thanks, Birdle Gavin TV, for the subscription. Very kind of you. Wolfcraft it in it. Another 100 pits. Thank you so much. Agreed. Though while I'm a fan of the franchise, mainly because of the lore and the VR game, the jump scares also kind of got lackluster. FNAF 2's jump scares remi um, sound reminds me of the song Down With The Sickness. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is the beginning of Down With The Sickness. Oh, wah! It's the it is. You're right. When it comes to the law, like, I, I, I know it has its fans, and I'm not taking that away from anybody, but I'm, I'm going to just say, like, oh my god. I feel like it, it's Five Nights to me feels like Scott had this incredible idea for a story, put tons of mysterious things in it, and then channels like Game Theory came along, overanalyzed it, and then made him think, do you know what? I need to add more shit to this. I think that's what happened. I, th I don't think most of most if any of it was planned out from the beginning. It feels very much like it's making itself up as it goes along. And even if it isn't, if like if I'm proven wrong with that, I'm sorry. But even if that is the case, like I don't find the law interesting in the slightest. It's it's just it's a load of speculation, a load of like ra random things that you have to. It's not like Dark Souls where it feels like there's a lived in giant world that you're having to unravel it's like a couple of events that have happened but the but the game is just never ever going to be clear on what any of it means because he probably scott doesn't even know 
But that's just my opinion. I know I know it has its fans, which is fine. That's much better. Rubber dinghy wrapped. Thank you for the 100 bits. Um, bits for you. Use for help and protect. Thank you so much. Uh, Manga King 333, 50 bits. Are you going to do more Phoenix Games reviews? Especially, um, specifically the Dingo Pictures ones, because I feel like you've only scratched the surface of the horrors. Yeah, I, the thing is, I've done so many single videos of Phoenix Games now that I don't think I could follow that up with a massive, like, multi part video with lots of different Phoenix Games in them, because I've already done so many Phoenix Games before. So if that becomes the definitive most watched video, then I'd, I don't. I don't want that to become that, you know. Oh, go away. Who wants to go and get the tiki head again? <laughs> oh, no. Uh, at least it's not too far away. I just got to throw this melon and we're there. I threw that there because I thought there'd be a way to get... Mm, maybe not. I don't know. Oh! Ha! That was a nice glitch you did there. Thank you. It's ficking awesome. Thank you for the 95 bits. Hey, sorry I've missed a few streams, but I figured it was better to take a break after my embarrassing moment on your second SpongeBob stream. What was that? Sorry, my, it's not because I, I don't... It's My memory's terrible. Do not take that personally. What embarrassing moment? I don't remember this at all. Um, Inflim 50 bits. What I like about Scott at the moment is he's currently helping a lot of smaller devs who have done FNAF games, FNAF games, FNAF like games out. Yeah, I've got nothing against him as a person. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying that the person and the, the game aren't the same thing. And I, I just don't think they're that m groundbreaking or that incredible. That's all. Angela Carrick, thanks for the 100 bits. I actually wore my FNAF t-shirt and had to try explaining Golden Freddy to my 62 year old boss. Yeah, you, that would happen. <laughs> that that would happen. No. Right, there we go. That was really close. There we go. Three tiki heads. Now hopefully this takes us to the spatula. Yeah, it does. Sweet. Up we go, and across we are. Here we are, we are with... We are with the Spatch. So where does this take us? Takes us to another area, okay. Hmm. Okay, which way do I go for Kelp caves? Yeah, why not? Oh my good dude, don't be embarrassed by that. Ficking awesome 95 bits, thank you. I would rather not relive it, but it was about me being duped into saying something to you that I didn't know the meaning of. You remember no remember like it was like it was like a innuendo or something. Remember like he sent some bits and or something and it and it sounded dodgy and we made and we made a joke about it. No, no. No, it, deal, no, it really wasn't a big deal. Dude, it wasn't a big deal at all. Do not feel embarrassed. That's not a traumatic thing. It was just it was just a silly thing that made me laugh, that's all. No need, no need to feel like it was a... No, no, well, Keris doesn't even remember it. No, I know what you're talking... I can't remember exactly what it was, but I do know what you're talking about. But yeah, don't, don't worry about it. Don't, don't freak out. Okay, gotta get Sponge out. Okay, that's fine. Hey, kid. I could really use your help if you had some time to spare. Yeah, I got a few hours. Sure, Barnacle Boy. What do you need? I'm trying to recover my lost energy crystals and power my new secret superhero power. Hmm. It seems the robots have found my supply and have hidden them in this cave. Secret superhero power? Oh, what to do? What to do? What to do? If I told you, it wouldn't be a secret, would it? Just trust me. It's Manga King 333, 50 bits. What kind of uh, games are you interested in covering at the moment? Just curious. Funny. Also, do you have any I funny stories be. involving Stan Keras or the kids? Jesus, so, so many, so well, many. Super bones of yours. I'll get searching for these crystals. Um, which which lawn lanning story? What happened with Phoebe and lawn lanning? Oh, Johnny, yeah, Johnny Duell. <laughs> oh no, no, it's fine. She doesn't. She doesn't. It's fine. I can't. That's the yeah. That's the thing. The kids are getting older now, so they probably don't want to be embarrassed on live stream. That's fine. Well, it is funny to us, but... 
I like how Amy was like, oh yes, well most of the funny stories involve me because I'm just so funny. Yeah, which one? Give us one. Exactly! You don't have a clue, exactly. I don't know, I don't know. There's, the thing is, like, family life, you don't really take notice of things. Like, you remember things every so often when it's relevant to a conversation or when someone in the family does something ridiculous and you're like, oh, yeah, that reminds me of the time that this happened. It's basically Family Guy. That's why the cutaway gags exist, because that's what families are like. You don't register lots of the things that happen. Does that open that over there? No, it doesn't. Okay, switch over to Patrick then. Oh, don't start doing this gameplay style. Oh, game- oh, sorry, I missed out your other question, Manga. Sorry about what games I co want to look co cover at the moment. I don't want to cover any anything new. I want to stream new things, but I'm not doing any more new game reviews. That's just not working for my channel, and it's not working for me either. I didn't enjoy doing that as much as the other stuff I'm doing now. Um, 50 bits, Harper Onions, get, get me my crystal meth sponge, kid. <laughs> it's freaking awesome, 95 bits. Okay, I won't worry about it anymore, so here's some more bits just for the heck of it. Good. Well, you didn't have to give any bits to prove a point, but thank you. Oh, yeah, look, look, there's stuff that's happened way more embarrassing than what happened on that stream. Like what happened with Phoebe and the lead singer of Crush 40, but I'm not going to tell it because she, she really won't want me to. It's fine. Look, I'm not about to be that person. I am... She doesn't mind? Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, well then I'll say this then. This is because this, because I do find this genuinely a, quite a funny story. So... We were at TMG in 2017, and Johnny Gioelli and his family were there. And if you don't know who he is, he is the singer of Crush 40. So, live and learn. Um, um, I am from Shadow the Hedgehog. All that great stuff. That's that's him, basically. He d he's basically the Sonic theme song. Sonic Heroes. Sonic theme song guy, right? And him and his family were there. And we've, we've been um, buds for a while now. We've been getting quite close over the last few years. And he wanted to do a big old kind of family meetup. Um... Wait, what's going on? Well, how do I lift that up? Oh, I see. Right, so I've got to put this on here. Then go and get SpongeBob to stand on... The... Thanks for doing this game. Just when I was complaining enough about it in Flying Dutchman. But anyway, so that so that was happening, right? And then what ended up happening was... Um, we were taken out um, by him to dinner with his family on the first day at Buffalo Wild Wings. Which is delicious, by the way. Love it there. Um, and yeah, had a great night. Um, but Phoebe, it was the first time that the kids had been to the States and had been on a flight that long before. It's about, a, it, what was it, 10 hours? It was a long flight for us. And um, what ended up happening was it was probably a mixture of nerves and travel sickness and jet lag. But basically, Phoebe wasn't feeling too good. So we made sure she was, she was, yeah, she's, the thing is, she said she was feeling weird. But then we just said, it's normal, it's totally fine, like, are you feeling like you're gonna be sick? And she said, oh, no, 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 I just feel a bit weird. And we said, oh, that's probably just because of the plane ride and everything. Totally normal, right? So, everything was fine. And then dinner happens. And, um, everything was fine. Up until the middle of the main courses. Because they, because you, you, the Americans all like to get their appetizers out. And we all, sh we all shared them. And then the main courses came out, everything was fine. And then, out of absolutely nowhere, Phoebe just goes... Mm. Oh, I just, oh, I just retched. She just said, she, it just happened and she went, oh, I just retched. And Johnny didn't know what that meant. So he then asked, oh, what, what he was like, oh, where was, where was that, sweetie? What, what, what what's, re what's retching? What's that? And, this, and while he was asking her, she threw up all in his dinner and all over him. <laughs> no, not all over him. I'm kidding. A lot, a lot went in dinner. Let's be fair. It was all in your dinner. <laughs> We had to get rid of it, yeah. Yeah, we did. Either way, it doesn't matter if it did or didn't. The the fact is, is that like you were you were sick and we had to take you away. And then after that, she was absolutely fine. It was it wasn't like a kind of it wasn't a kind of oh I was I was ill thing. She was I think it was just the you know the plane ride and everything. But yeah, the fact that it was and and luckily because Johnny's a family man and he is just a lovely person as it is anyway. Like, he completely understood, and he found it the funniest thing that happened to him at the whole con, and he still talks to me about it today. Yeah, he still mentions it every so often. He's like, I'm so, I'm so, I'm so glad that I learned what retching was from first-hand experience. 
I was more surprised he didn't know what retching was, to be honest with you. Uh, oh, thanks thanks for 50 bits, Angelic Rx. I went to my, my FNAF share today at work. Oh, thank you so much. Um, uh, Abyss Wraith, 1,500 bit cheer. Wow. Hope the game is going well. Sorry to small bit donation compared to my usual. Don't even begin to apologize. I'll be angry with you. Um, but I've got to save some. Anyways, happy Friday and wish you luck for the rest of the stream. And thank you for the story. It's okay. It's freaking awesome, 50 bits. Yes, you summed it up. Oh well, live and learn. <laughs> Brilliant. Absolute. You summed it up better than I ever could. Yeah. Thanks, Ewilia, I think that says. Ewilia961 for the E, Willia. I, I can't see. I'm sorry. Um, For the subscription. Thank you very much. Okay, I just jumped into the chat there. Um, Subzero Hero 98 Hello, I'm doing okay, thanks. I've just... No, stop. Okay. I'm gonna have to mute you if you don't stop spamming. Yeah, please stop. Yeah, Bizrath is right. Correct. Stop spamming. I, I, I'm I, not looking at the chat the entire time. I, I know it sucks. I, I do get it. Um, But I can only really keep up with, like, bit notifications. And if I just so happen to see a message while I'm streaming, when I jump into the chat... Then I will read it if I jump into it, but that's but that's all I can do. I can't I can't multitask that crazily, otherwise you won't have a game. <laughs> can I throw this at you? I can, sweet. Okay, pick up the face. Move the face over here, I suppose. Wait, so what does that do? Resets that one. So that one's for the next room then, I guess. Uh, got some crystals. Okay, this is just annoying. It's it's not as annoying as the Flying Dutchman because that asked you to do some crazy platforming stuff um, while switching characters. But this is tedious as hell. Why did they do that? This is, this is just... What's the point? This just kills the pacing. This is ridiculous. Thank you so much, Silverblade, for the 40 bits. So, Kelly, I was wondering if you'd ever consider doing a video or at least streaming the Dead Rising games. Maybe. I've got them. Um, I might do. We'll see. We will see. Okay, so... Then I get the missile. Move it over here. Oh, Lord! And that's it. I've ruined it now. Oh, you're kidding. I didn't know you could blow up the Tiki heads. Oh, who does who decided that was a good idea? This isn't this isn't hard. This is just annoying. Like I made a mistake, and my punishment is going back here to switch characters, to go back to put a thing on a switch, to then go back and switch characters. Like that's not a punishment. That's just long and tedious and boring. This isn't difficult. It's oh my god, this is terrible. <laughs> this is bad. Luckily, it's the only time in this level I felt like this, though. Okay. Shall we try again? Yes, let's try. Oh, bollocks. Now what? Sure gotta carry a lot of stuff around. Yeah, you're telling me, Patrick. It's almost like they knew. They wrote that line in. And because the bubble missile controls really heavily as well, I don't think I'm going to get this for a while. Oh, we'll see. Yeah, that noise isn't going to get annoying either. Okay, right. Now just aim higher. I've just got to remember to aim higher. I'll get it. Eventually. Oh no, it's based on the camera position, not where your character's facing. I don't like that either. There's so many tiny flaws like that. Oh shit me. This isn't going to work, is it? Uh, hey, there we go. Done it. Yeah, what's up, honey? You're not gate crashing. Oh, we got some Animal Crossing advice. Yeah, go for it. Simple wood, yeah. Uh huh. Okay, Keris is. 
I'm going to say, honey, it's a seasonal thing. That's what I'm going to say. But I'm going to ask the chat. So apparently, Keris is saying that the first ever fencing she got from Tom Nook, you're given it from Tom Nook from the beginning of the game, um, was this simple wooden fencing. And she's saying that she's made it loads of times from her recipe and everything. And um, apparently now she's trying to make some more. She's made it hundreds and hundreds of times, but now she can't make it. The recipe has vanished. Is that... Yeah, is that because it's a seasonal thing or what? What do, what do you guys think? <laughs> Kirby Popstar says Tom Nuke. <laughs> uh, oh, um, Skings101, 95 bits. Thank you so much. Um, hey, loving your streams. Have you played Excalibur 2555 AD for the PS1? Nope. And do you know of any King Arthur video games? Nope. My fiance Camelot Wizard, loves King Arthur and wants to play. I have no idea, I'm afraid. I'm not massive into King Arthur, to be honest with you. Maybe there's a sword in the stone game. No, the- oh! It sounds like a glitch, everyone's saying. The recipes stay no matter the season. Yeah, they're saying it's a glitch. You might need to, um, save your game and restart it. That's the problem with modern games, is that as great as they are and as technically advanced they are, that means there's more things that can go wrong. Just quit the game and restart it, see what happens. Yes, quit the game. I know that's something that you're not used to. I'm not kidding. You better quit that game, missus. L little little Miss Quit. <laughs> That'd be the most depressing Mr. Men book. Little Miss Quitter. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, okay, let's go up here. Right, so this is where I've got to put... Um, Okay, right, so I've got to find a stone tiki statue. Did I go up here? Yeah, I did. I need to find a stone tiki to put up here, I guess. So I'll switch out to Patrick. Oh, rubber ding rap ray. Uh, rubber dingy uh, APDS, or not rubber dingy raps, so I'm not sure, sorry. Um. 245 bits. I remember doing this section at 4.30 a.m. With, with severe insomnia. I wanted to break things. It's not frustrating. It's just really irritating. But yeah, I, I see what you mean. One shot. Thank you so much, Ben, for the 50 bits. What are your current escape games? Games when I'm not reviewing or streaming. Borderlands 3 at the moment. <laughs> Borderlands 3 and Origami King. Both of which... Um, I'm Borderlands 3, I'm quite... I've, I've put like nearly 90 hours into that game, so I'm really into Borderlands 3, but in terms of Origami King, I've barely put four hours into it. I know I do need to go back into it, it's just finding the time and everything. But yeah, it's freaking awesome, 100 bits, thank you so much. Sorry, I'll be right with you in a sec, I just need to grab myself one of these lovely ugly heads. Oh god, the clouds followed me, oh sh- oh no, okay, right. This way, this way. Can I throw them up here? Yes, I can. Sweet. Let's do this. More, sorry, Morbi Ganahu. Thank you so much for the subscription. This isn't going to end well. No, don't throw it back where I was standing, you stupid star. No! Thank you. Thanks for doing that. Thanks. That's just what I needed you to do. Throwing it at my feet, because that's exactly what I intended. Right, you can piss off. I'll try that again. You can piss off. Yeah, it did, Patrick. Very right. Sorry, so we've had a subscription, and um, Damien Castaway gifted a sub. Thank you so much. Nico Shea subscribed. Thank you so much. Thank you for the content. Enjoy much of all you do, says Frog Skeleton with 100 bits. Thank you so much. It's freaking awesome. More bits. Thank you so much, dude. Actually, on the subject of Sonic, I was re-watching some of your um, videos and just so happened to re-watch the Sonic Heroes video. For the special stages, you actually don't need to tap the action button to do a burst of speed. You can actually just hold it down and have a continuous burst. I swear I tried that. I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm just saying I swear I tried that because that would make way more sense. But either way, like, the, yeah, like, the, the controls still suck in that bit. But yeah, no, okay. Oh, I see. Okay. This is where I'm going to need SpongeBob again, isn't it? Ah, some crystal. Nice. 
two left. Sweet. And a 100 shiny thing. Nice. Annoying pacing. Artificial length says Harper Onions with 50 bits. You're absolutely correct. And we... Oh, Angelic Carrax gifted two subs as well. Very kind of you. Thanks. I hope I'm saying your name correctly, by the way. Uh, okay. Where can we go now? Where can we go now? That's the worst song that Guns N' Roses did. I don't like it at all. I don't think Slash likes it either. I think he says every time he had to play that o opening riff and hear everyone go insane when he felt like he wrote much better songs, he just felt bitter, which I find quite funny. Right, can we throw this up? Yes, we can. Oh, and Damien Castaway gifted even more subs. Thank you for the spamming of that's how we do it in my garden. That's very kind of you. And we are basically in a garden right now, I suppose. An underwater garden. So that makes perfect sense. That's how we do it in my garden. <laughs> There's another one. Um, okay, so... We've got... Another camper. Sweet. And we found all the campers. Great. Okay, that brings this back. Okay, right. So we've got another one of these. What does what do we do with this one? Hmm, let's see. That's how we do it in my garden. Well, we've been here. Hmm, okay. Big Nath Gaming, thanks for the subscription. Very kind of you. So we grew all of these lovely little lovely little things. These lovely little wonks. Um Okay, we need the tiki head to do that, don't we? Okay, right. So we need to make our way up here and then do some very awkward and difficult bouncing. Let's see if we can do it. Oh, Jesus, no. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We can work with that. <sighs> right. Nearly there. Nearly there. There we go. Perfect. Oh. Well, I saw a melon down there, so how do I get that over there? Do I put it here and then... Huh? Well, that's not going to make it if I... Okay, I didn't mean to throw it that far. At least it's just down there. Um. Okay, I'm going to... I don't know, actually. I don't know, because if I have the watermelon down there, and I throw it, then that means I'm throwing a watermelon, right? Which means I'm holding the watermelon to throw it, so I can't throw the watermelon and grab the tiki head at the same time. Can I? I, I don't know. Wait a sec. This, this can't be as hard as it looks. It can't be. It can't be. There's got to be some, some way of doing this. Thank you, Alex J Brindle 14 for 300 bits. Hey, Caddy, thanks for getting me through lockdown with the streams and videos, but talk to me about Barnyard PS2 soundtrack. The thing slaps. Never heard it. Couldn't tell you. Maybe? Yeah, I can't see any way of this actually getting across. Because if I'm holding the melon, then that means I'm holding the lemon. The, the melon. So I can't hold this while I throw the melon. It's not going to work. Maybe it's just close enough to be thrown, maybe. No. Damn it. Maybe, I mean, it was nearly there. Maybe I could cheese it. I don't know if this is the way you're supposed to do it, but maybe I could cheese it. What's chat saying? Oh, people are saying I could... Th oh, okay. I thought that was a, the way you weren't supposed to do it. Okay, throwing it over is apparently what you're supposed to do. That is a teasing gap there. That looks like it's not even possible to throw it. Like, there haven't been many situations in the game where there's a target. That's really cruel. Like, you have to be on the tippy-toe edge there. I wouldn't have even guessed that was far enough to throw. That's a bit cruel. Um, anyway, where's the, where's the melon? Ah, Classy One. Hey, dude, how's it going? Hey, Callie and family. Apologies that I'm late. I hope the stream is going well so far. How are you feeling today? Feeling good, thanks. Yeah. Feeling ready to complete this game and move on to the next thing. 
Now this is going to blow up if I'm not quick, isn't it? So I'm just going to do this as quick as I can. Thanks for the 100 bits, Classy. Nice to see you again. Uh, quick, 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 quick! Nearly! Sweet! Done it. Grab that. Throw it on there. Need Spongebob now, is my guess. No, I don't. Great. Cool. Now what I want to know is how do I... There's a switch somewhere here. Yeah, this one. How do I get in there? Oh, hey, my back feels better. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. Right, where's that? Where's that one grown? Where did that grow from? Uh, Wolfcraft it in it again, 100 bits. Thank you so much. I have no question to ask, but I want to say that I've been sub to your YouTube channel for a long time. Oh god, I thought the game broke then. Oh, my heart skipped a beat. Oh my god. Yeah, just like when Patrick pulls his pants down. Anyway, I've been sub to your channel for a long time, and while I haven't agreed with some of the opinions mentioned in some videos, I wanted to say that you're doing a really great job out of all that I've seen. I've never disliked any Caddy Chris episode. Thank you for being an awesome person. I hope the bricks are safe wherever they are. Sheds a tear. Ah. Thank you so much. Very kind of you. Means a lot that you can watch despite not agreeing with everything I say. I think it's just important to remember as well, though, that I'm not... Oh, now we need Spongebob. Okay, right. Oh, wow. This is a very, very tiring back and forth game. Wow. We've got all the crystals now? Sweet. So this is how we end up back in that room, I guess. Um, how do we make our way back? Okay, right, right, right. Let's go. Yeah, at the end of the day, I'm not trying, like, I'm talking about, like, it's the thing with the, like, it's, it's like AVGN kind of thing. I'm beating a dead horse. The games I usually cover nowadays are all way beyond their prime, way too old. I'm not doing any serious criti critique. I'm just critiquing what I'm playing, and you can take it as seriously or as non-serious as you want to, but there's no need to, like, get majorly upset with something bad that I said about LEGO Races 2 or something. Like, I don't think anybody cares. I don't think anyone cares if you like it or no one cares if you hate it. Oh, I should have taken that short away, shouldn't I? Damn it. <laughs> okay. So, Emrich10... I just jumped into the chat to see what was going on. Emrich101 just asked, and it's all bold, so I couldn't ignore it. Would you rather sweat cauliflower smelling cheese or poo yourself whenever you see someone eat a banana? <laughs> That's a great, that is a great what if scenario. Um, I, okay, yeah, I don't often see people eat bananas. We don't have bananas in the house. So, and I'm mostly in the house. So, and I never see people eating them in public. Or if I do see them, it's usually with a dessert. And if by that point, you're usually like on another table in the restaurant far away from them. So you don't even get to see it. I've never seen anyone eat a banana yeah. In the I sweat buckets. I'm a big old sweater. I'm a, <laughs> I am, I'm a hog. Like there is no other, no other word to describe it. I sweat when I sleep. I, sw I sweat when I'm in pu public transport. And it's... Yeah, it's not... Oh, wait, what? Oh, it's the diff wrong one. Yeah, I, yeah, I sweat all the time. It's not even because I'm hot. I just I, I just sweat so much. Um, and I've only just found myself a deodorant that stops the underarm sweat being so pers um, pervasive. Not persuasive, pervasive. Um, so I'm going to say, playing it safe, yeah, I'm going to shit myself every time I see someone eat a banana because I cannot... I can't sweat cauliflower cheese all the time because I would just stink. There's no other word for it. But that is a great question, though. <laughs> Luckily, right now, I'm not sweating so much because um, the um, the back door's open, so we've got a nice breeze coming through. But, yeah. It's mostly while I'm sleeping. I, I sweat a lot while I sleep. I don't know if it's a stress thing, but it's, it's yeah, terrible. Oh, hello, Kyle. I was trying to find some of our missing energy crystals. Oh, i got to go and see Where Barnacle Boy again, haven't I? You don't just get the you don't just get the golden spatula. Oh, get to it. Yeah, oh yeah. I appreciate he's an old man that speaks long and slow, but Jesus Christ, you can you can you can speed up a little bit. Wait, where's the slide? Oh, it's there. Okay. Here we go. God, these are some tight turns. Okay, we've got some double jumping to do now. Luckily, we can slow ourselves down as we turn, so... Okay, a 
I'm assuming that the challenge is over the second you fall off. Ah. Uh, ah. Ah. Okay. We're going alright so far. I'm trying to look out for any shortcuts as well. Anywhere which will lead to secret socks or spatulas as well. Oh, nearly. I'm doing alright. Okay. Yeah, we're doing okay. We're doing okay. No, I'm not doing. I'm not doing that. Oh shit! That's where there was an alternate path. Oh god, that was close. That was so close. Unless that wasn't an alternate path. Oh jeez, I don't know. I'm gonna have to redo it and have a look. Oh no! Thank God, there's these lights here. They're guiding me. I don't think I'm gonna do. It. I think I've wasted too much time, honestly. But. Ah. Uh. Mmm. Okay, we've got an alternate path down there. Not sure which one's the quickest one, but screw it. I haven't really got time to think. Oh, it's it's there. It's there. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yay. Glad you're feeling better today. How's Keris doing? Asks Classy One with 100 bits. Thank you so much. Um, I think you're doing okay, honey, aren't you? She's doing okay. Thank you. Yeah. Um, and we've also had 100 bits from Big Nath Gaming. Thank you so much for the subscription and the bits. I love your videos. Been subbed for about a year and a half. Got a Nintendo Switch from watching your video comparing them. Oh, the Switch Lite versus Switch. I, I liked that video. It didn't get, like, anywhere near as exposure as I thought it would, bearing in mind how people love Nintendo. But, you know, it was. I liked that video. It was one of the few ones where I was like, wow, there's some, like, crafty stuff and crafty shots and stuff in this one. Uh, but keep up the good work and your Lego video was superb. Thank you so much. Oh, everyone in the chat saying that apparently this that was way harder than it used to be. First first try? Like, wow, okay. Mad Brit, is it worth getting a Switch Lite? Watch my video. It depend like I, I could say yes or no right now, but and I'm not I'm not trying to self-plug myself, but I did do a video comparing the two, and that is the way you're going to des decide whether or not you're gonna to want to spend the money on either. Because there's a lot of things to consider when you're going for one or the other. And I can't sum them up in five minutes, I'm afraid. Yeah, people in the chat seem surprised I did that on um, the first first go. Maybe it's harder on the original. I, I, I don't know. Tell you what, the biggest thing for me with the Switch Lite, and the, the main reason um, I, what, I traded it in for a newer model Switch is because um, the vibration. I missed the vibration too much. And the sound quality. Sound quality is worse and the vibration isn't there. But for saving the money and not being able to connect to the TV, like, I don't usually play my Switch on the TV, but I love the vibration too much. It's a bit more immersive. And the new Switch that I traded it in for, like, the new model that they're now that's now on the shelves, it's the same battery life, because that's the thing. Like, when the Switch, like, first came out, and you could only compare it to the original Switch, um, like, the Switch Lite's battery life was, like, a good two plus at two to three hours maybe even four hours longer than the original switch but now with the new switch it's basically the same as the switch lights battery life but now it's bigger screen vibration controls you know all that blah so this is a secret area i suppose oh it's not oh shit so that's the shortcut that they would have expected me to take in order to save more time which i didn't need to do <laughs> oh yeah Oh. Okay, that's gotta be that's gotta be something. That has to be something. I refuse to believe that that's not there for decoration. Oh, too late. Okay, let's try again. Yeah, let's do it. Hey, made it. Sock up here. Yeah, nicely done, me. So there's one more sock somewhere, is my understanding. If I've got nine, then we've rounded it up to a nice ten when I get this one. Then I give those to Patrick and get the final spatula from him, is my understanding. Oh, hey, yeah, no sponge, stay on, stay on the li stay on the long tongue with your own tongue, good boy. I'm gonna go down here again because I think there was another route. That I oh no, that was the route I could have taken. Okay, right here we are. So I'll just follow along here, and if there's nothing down here, then I'm sorted. Yep, got the, um, 
Got the little shiny objects. Great, cool. Let's carry on. It's freaking awesome. 50 bits, thank you so much. I guess those times you fell four feet and died in Last of Us Part 2 have returned with the flawless slide run. <laughs> Morby Gunner Who, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Hello, been a subscriber since your Simpsons skateboarding video. Jesus, that's a that's a terrible video. I love your video editing and humor. Been enjoying the new style of content. Keep it up. Thank you so much. Manga King 333, 50 bits. God damn you, Caddy. That took me like 10 times before I got it and I had to cheese the game to win. I guess I'm just like, people were saying that with the puzzles in the Murmur Lair. Like I did them within like two, three minutes of each other. Like they're, they're, it wasn't that bad. But then I remember people um, being like, oh my god, you are never going to be able to cope with, um, uh, what was it? Um, oh yeah, was it, there's, like, it was like a pull-up challenge or a push-up challenge in a um, Final Fantasy VII Remake. And I did it on my second go. So yeah, I get, I get, I guess I'm just decent at some things and terrible at other things. I don't know what to say. Right, so I'll go and get my spatula from Mrs. Pump. Because I found all of her camp, um, children. No problem, Mrs. Pop. Any self cure not so bad. Always glad to lend a I found this golden spatula. Yeah. Yeah, cool. Alright, let's grab it. Kelp Forest of Fear. Nice. Good achievement there. Nice. Right, so what have I got to do then? I'm missing one spatula, and that's from Paracrystals. Okay, I have finished this level, guys. That was nowhere near as bad as everyone made it out to be. That was actually a really nice level. Boy, I think I found all your crystal. All right. Stand and there's another area I haven't explored I yet. Power to trim my no uh -huh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's just get, let's get to it. Yeah, that's fine. Mikey Reen's asking if I actually shaved my beard in the crash video. Yes, I did. I didn't stream for a month because I was so d embarrassed by it. How could I fake not shaving? Like, if you watch that video back, you can see the lines in my face. You can see, like, yeah, you can see the despair. You can see the roll in my neck. Like, that is not fake. <laughs> that is... Okay, so there was another... I, I know, I'm, I've, know I've done this 100%, but I need to know what that, where this took you. Oh, no, no, that doesn't take you anywhere. That just takes you back to the beginning, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Oh, I'm an idiot. Does it? I can't remember. Where does it take you? Kelp Forest. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? <laughs> Whoops. Um, well, uh, you know, it was worth a look. Harper Onions. How's Stan? Here's a joke. What do frogs in Paris eat? French flies. <laughs> nice. Thanks for the 50 bits. Here's a joke for you. Well, for, for, for the for the lovely cheerer, I meant. Your joke is... What do you... I'm going to just do this. Um, where's that final one? So your joke is, Mr. Harper... What's... An, what's... Um, what's the orchestra's favourite vegetable? Harper onions. Little Odd 13, 100 bits. Hey, Kelly, been subscribed since Gums Unleashed. Another awful video. Um, not because of Gerard, because of me. Um, been loving your streaming recently. Your humour has kept me entertained for a long time. Keep up the good work. Thank you so much. Right, so we've done everything, I think. So we should go and see Patrick. Give the last sock over. Find my oh. oh, oh! So there is one more. Yeah, no, I'm wrong then. Yeah, we have got all. I thought that. Yeah, I, I talked about. So there has to be one. Oh, I still haven't got the. Oh, I still need to grind some. Okay. So this is it. I just got to go to um the chum bucket then. That's it. That, that's, I'm at the final bit. So I'm gonna need to start collecting whenever I can as many shiny objects as I can. What, the sneaking? Look at his face. Uh, where's Mr. Krabs? I've got his missile! Krabs, 
I'm taking over the credit grab! Sorry, that would have been really loud. Sorry for headphone users. Oh, I'm gonna need to do some major spamming. Have you thought about doing a review on Tie the Tasmanian Tiger or Tack the Power of Juju, says It's Fickin' Awesome with 70 bits? Uh, no. I've thought about streaming them, but I no, not about doing a video on them. I've got nothing to say, really. Okay, so do I need 5,000 for the next one, or is it like 6,500? I can't remember. Well, let's, let's open up the chum bucket then, see what's in here. <laughs> Authorities have confirmed that the robots running amok through Bikini Bottom are indeed coming from the Chum Bucket. Oh, come on. Coming from the Chum Bucket? Yes, really, guys? Plankton, owner of the Chum Bucket, and best known for the ah, creation of robots. Ah, good night, you. And destruction has denied any involvement. Oh, night, night, you. Night, night. Night. And then stop on your children. Oh. And stop by your children's children. Oh, he's still this going. Has been a bottom news flash. <laughs> okay, there has got to be something in here. They wouldn't just put all this crap in here for no reason at all. Chum on a stick. Chum pie. Okay, there has to be there has to be something here. Ah, there's a spatula. I just saw it. I just saw it. Hmm, wonder how you get up. Well, I guess you've got to just jump on here, jump up here, get the spatula. Oh, you can wall jump. Okay. Oh, Miss Harper Onion. Sorry. Thank you very much. So sorry. Hard to tell with the neutral username there. Um. Okay, right. Well, how the hell? Okay, yeah, you use the, the missiles, don't you? Well, seeing as though there was a sock for blowing up everything in the Krusty cl cr Clam, uh, the Krusty Crab, I'm going to assume that there's something for blowing everything up here. I'm, I don't know. There is one more sock we need to get. Hmm. Or maybe it's in the Chum Bucket itself. No. Hmm. I wonder where that last sock is. Pretty sure we've got everything. Yeah, four, ten, three. Yeah, I haven't done that yet. Five, seven, nine, fourteen. I can count numbers. Nine. Oh, yeah, there was a bowling thing here, wasn't there? There was something here. I remember now. I remember. I can't remember where it was, but there was something where I needed the pier. It has to be there. It has to be. There was a bowling game there. It has to be the pier. Classy one, 50 bits. Don't do the final boss without all 100 spatulas. You'll miss the secret ending. Oh, I'm, I'm, yeah, I was, I was gonna, I was not going to um, be, after, after, like, doing Crash 3 and Crash 2 for the first time, I've made it a point of my, to myself to never, ever do, um, to never do, like, in, in collectathons, never do, um, um, games, like, and get to the final boss without doing everything 100%, because otherwise you'll just be fight the fighting the last boss again, and you'll get a bad ending. Jameson2020, thank you for the 100 bits. Hello, Caddy, long-time Twitch YouTube viewer, first-time bit giver. Thank you so much. I just wanted to say that I found your videos for the first time last year. I've loved your content ever since. Hope you and the family are staying safe and doing well. We are, thank you. Hope, I hope you're doing okay. Oh, okay. We've got some Manga King 333 50 bit. You don't have to answer this if it's too personal, but it, was it difficult getting along with the girls when you first met and moved in? Also, do you have any favourite cartoons? No, it wasn't hard to get on with them, and I'll tell you why, because I hate kids. In general, I don't like them. And I know it's not their fault, it's the parents that are to blame, but that still doesn't change the fact that I'm not a kid person. So before, like, if if you're going into the, into a relationship with, with someone else who has kids, 
and you aren't confident from the beginning that you could live with them, you're making a mistake. Because you're going to screw up your, your own life, you're going to screw up their lives, you're going to have a nasty breakup. It's it's basically not a wise thing to do, is all I can say about that. So before, before even considering the big step of moving in together, I was like, you know what, that's how cool your kids are. I could live with them and I hate kids. So that's how I knew it was going to be fine and that's how I knew not to worry about it. I'm guessing one in the middle. There's nothing like the smell uh. of bubbles in the morning. Smells like... Oh, Nick. Nick. Oh, no. Come on. Too heavy. Okay. Oh, that was a bingo. That was a bullseye. No? I'm guessing I've got to get them the ball in every single one. I, I'm not really sure. Oh, that's that's fun. Okay. What's all the numbers popping up on screen for? Is this just getting me more um more shiny objects? Forty. So it's five thousand seven hundred and two. Wait a minute. Yeah, it is giving me more. Okay. Well, maybe I should just keep spamming here for a bit until I have enough for the, um... So how many do I need for the next Mr. Krabs thing? 6,500? Okay, cool. Right, so I'll keep going until I get 6,500 because I can't think of a quicker way to do it. God, I'm not doing very well. Getting the hang of this slowly. I don't think it's going to take as long as you think it will. I think this was put here deliberately so that people could get more in a relatively quick amount of time. Whoa, like three, three in a row. Look at that. Three bullseyes. God, none of them went in. None of them. Absolutely none of them. Oh, thank you for the resub, Did You Know Gaming. Hi, Shane or Daz. I'm not sure which one. When it comes to you guys, I'm not sure who's running Twitch at what time. But thank you. See you nearly there, guys. Her Royal Pinus has just subbed as well. Thank you so much. Oh, but, oh, Manic Realms with 50 bits has said that um, apparently there used to be a glitch here where you would get a load and be able to spam it. Oh, oh God. Oh, jeez. So I've got enough. I've got enough for the for the next spatula anyway. So I'll um. I suppose I've got to look for this um. Uh, I suppose I have to look for it, right? I've got to start at the beginning and look for it. Okay, the way that Did You Know Gaming is talking in the chat, I'm going to say that's Daz. Because Shane does not type that enthusiastically. Tell me if I'm right. <laughs> oh, Jack Jack Joe in the chat says I've got to go to the cave. Okay, well, seeing as though I still need to spam a couple of things to um, get enough um, shiny objects for Mr. Krabs, I'm just going to kind of comb this area through and um, get as many shiny objects as I can. Which isn't the most exciting thing in the world, but at least I could, um... I, at least I can talk to you guys while I'm doing something mindless. Mad Brit, would I play Breath of the Wild? I have played Breath of the Wild, and I don't really want to play it again, to be honest. It was a bit too big for me. It's great, but I don't think I'd ever want to stream it. It's, it's, it's old news as well. Like, I've got no desire to want to go back and replay it. But then I feel the same way about, like, lots of Zelda games in that sense.
Oh god, I thought there'd be more places to get b shiny objects from. There's nothing. There's Nout! In fact, so can someone in the chat actually, just to give me a little helping hand here, can someone in the chat confirm, so if the the, the one I'm on right now is 6,500 um, shiny objects for a spatula, right? So can somebody um, confirm, oh, this is probably a better way than, better way of getting all of the, yes, yeah, so, sorry, can someone confirm how many shiny objects I need for the final one? And then I'll just kind of grind accordingly because I don't want to go too far. 7,500. I don't even have that right now. Jesus. Okay, well then you're going to have to tell me where the best place is to grind because God knows I'm not going to remember that. I'll get as many as I can in this area and then I will think about where to go next. <sighs> I'm going to need... That's a lot of... I need 14,000. What? This is hardly fair. Right, so I head to the I head to the cave. I, I don't think there's any real major places I can grab shiny objects, so I think I'll just head back to the cave and see what I missed. Sand mountains are good. Actually, that's a great idea. Yeah, sand mountain because of how many um, shiny objects you needed to open each part of the level. You're right. That's a good shout. Thank you. Oh. Well, oh, right, yeah, it went underwater. I forgot that they do that. Classy one, 50 bits, thank you so much. Hiccup! <gasps> I'm sorry. <sighs> right, what did I miss here? What the fucking hell did I miss here? I'm gonna keep my eyes peeled, because apparently I'm missing something in the cave. Oh, there it is. Oh, well, that was easy. Is that going down? Oh, brilliant. That was very easy. <laughs> yeah, because, anyway, Sand Mountain. <laughs> yeah, because you needed, like, loads and loads and loads of, um, of um, shiny objects in that area to, um, to open up other areas. So, um, yeah, it makes sense to me. They gave you um, loads and loads and loads of places to um, to find lots of shiny objects because you needed lots in this level to open. I'm just talking out my ass right now. I'm sorry. Right, so I'll be sandy just so I can hit as many as I can. The quicker this is done, the quicker it's done, as I always say. Oh, sorry. Declan Malloy, 50 bits. Go into the cave, then go out and blow up the tiki's on top of the sand castle, then just die and do it over and over. Nah, that sounds boring. I want to slide. I want to go slip and slide. Although, lots of them I can't even destroy, so that's fun. Actually, maybe this is probably the slowest way of doing it. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I should do the sandcastle thing. Maybe I shouldn't be such an asshole. Let's find out. Is Kenny Icarus an asshat? Find out after the big game. Okay, this way. I'm already on 8,000. I mean, maybe this isn't such a bad idea. I'll do the slides one, one each. I'll do one each, and then, um, I'll then I'll finish off on the top of the castle, doing that thing. Bang, bang, bang goes the hammer. Oh shite! Okay, wait. And I can lasso the rest of them, can't I? Oh, we still sliding? Oh, okay. Yeah, we got to 8,300. It's probably not the most efficient way of doing it, but it's it's a way, isn't it? Can you not double jump attack? Oh, you can, right. Uh, 
Damien Castaway, thanks for the 50 more bits. You're being way too nice. Going out for drinks with the other privates. Um, have a good rest of the stream, everyone, and stay safe, distanced, and hydrated. Have a nice drink. And thanks for joining in on the stream. Very kind of you. And they probably don't know who I am and don't care, but tell them I say hi. Upper Onions is asking, did I watch Gamescom? No, I didn't. I was busy working. I've, I've never, you know, I've never actually looked at anything Gamescom related. I've got to be honest. It's not because I don't like it. I just, it just doesn't appeal to me as much as E3. Because E3 is so ridiculously overblown and commercial that it's just, so many things go wrong at E3, and I can't be there to not see it. You know, I need, no, I need to be there to see it. Yo, 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 Din Din Banana Man. Did anyone, did anyone ever have Din Dins at their school? Not school dinners, but did anybody ever do Din Dins? Din Dins is a very special treat that every every single birthday, whoever had a birthday in our school, in our primary school, they if it was summer and we were allowed on the on the field, um, we 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 did we played Din Dins and Din Dins was grass that was pulled up and shoved into people's mouths, probably very dangerous. But when it was your birthday, like that that was what Din Dins was. But when it was your birthday, you had a Din Din cake, which was just a load of cut up grass. In, in like a big mound, compressed together into like a meatball looking thing, and it was shoved in your mouth while other people ganged up on top of you. Not fun! Basically waterboarding, but with grass. And it was called Dindins. Oh god! Okay, did anybody at school? Here's another question. No, not, not, not what, not we called it, but no. Has anyone at school ever had... I th we the technical name for what we had at school was called a Burma bridge. We didn't have any um, we didn't have any play equipment when I was at my primary school. We only had a football pitch, um, a, a bit of gravel, a field, a sand pit that was always shat in by the local cats, so no one ever went in it, and um, and this Burma bridge. And I, it was called that because I guess it was made from this kind of wood, but also. It had like this, I think it's bark on the floor. It's basically, it was just one of those bridges that was like strong. It was like a couple of wooden like tubes and they were tied together by a metal rope. And you had to like walk along the middle of the rope and get from one end of the bridge to the other. That's what it was. It was called a Burma bridge, but I don't know what the technical name for it was exactly. But either way, um, we had one of them in our primary school, right? And um, it had all this like playground bark on the floor, you know what I mean? Like those really thick, lumpy, like, burnt bacon-looking things. Um, and I guess that's to keep it relatively grippy when it's dry and, you know, all that shit. You know, tr well, God forbid the kids fall over and get a boo-boo. So, um, so it had all this shit on the floor, right? I'm guessing it's bark. I don't know what it was, but, um, it was, yeah, it was just all this, like, ground-up woody shit on the floors, right? Um, beauty bark, someone called it in the chat. And, um... Yeah, the interesting thing about that is that, um, along with Din Dins, we also had Pooey Tickets. <laughs> and Pooey Tickets were those things. They they were the bark that you found on the floor. And what would happen is that we would have to have a bridge keeper on one end of the bridge, and you'd have to pay your admission to cross the bridge to the other side with your Pooey Tickets. And they would, they would, yeah, wood chips, and they would have to, like, pile them up. Um, and it was all, and they were always bloody soaking wet and like greasy and shit. Influence 50 bits. Yeah, Kenny, I hate slipping on all that dry floor. Need those pieces of bark to not fall over when it's dry. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. It's like, it's like when, um, because, because the bark absorbs the water, so you wouldn't slip over. But anyway, beside the point. But yeah, pooey tickets, that's what we had. Well, it's across the bridge. That's what I said. I did say that. Yeah, you're playing Animal Crossing, honey. No, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just saying. I don't. I'm not surprised you didn't know, because <laughs> you're playing Nook. <laughs> okay. Oh, it'd be nice if there were some shiny objects here. How many more do I need? Nearly four thousand five hundred. I can do this. I don't know if this is a good idea. 
maybe a good idea? I don't, I don't think so. I think I just wasted my time. Yeah, I think I'm going to do the sandcastle thing after this. I'm not getting anywhere with this. Where's, where's the shiny objects? They aren't anywhere. Oh, look, here's some. Bang. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, lads. We're, we're out. Oh. Oh, we're not starting at the beginning. So that means we've got to go through all this again. Yeah, this is this this is this was a bad idea. Whoops. Whoops. Ah, oh, there we go. There's some more bits to get. There we go. Ah, you're going to break the bridge, are you? Well, what if I told you I was a bridge jumper? What are you going to do about that? Oh, break more bridge? I jump it. Try harder. Oh, this was a bad idea. This was a... Th I am regretting this decision. This is... This is dull. It's fine when you're searching for things and looking for socks and stuff, but when you're trying to get... I think this way was where I got the most shiny objects. I can't really remember. Looks like it. I go here. Yeah, maybe. I'm nearly at 10,000. It probably won't take me that much longer to get to 14k. Oh, I missed out. Oh, no, I didn't. No, I, did. I missed out on quite a lot there, didn't I? God damn it. Hang on. What if I die? Do they come back? I've still got nearly 10,000. They come back. I could just do this bit over and over again. I just need to remember which ones to go to. So go to the left or the right. Do not go to the one in the middle. Look at that. Oh no, still didn't give me that much. Okay, screw it. I'm going to go to the sandcastle. Can I jump this? Sick air, man! Sick bruv! Let's do it in the bruv. Okay. Harper Onions. In the new Animal Crossing, you have to pay Tom Nook Pooey tickets so you can cross this bridge. Now to build the bridge, more like. Yeah, I'm going to go to the um, top of the sand castle. King of the castle? Over the moat? Yeah, king of the castle. <laughs> Crashed wyvern. Seven Why do I have to go to the caves first? I've got everything I need from there. Well done. Well done for what, Bubble Buddy? What did I do? I just got here. I'm assuming this is the sand castle you're talking about, right? I don't know what other sand castle you could be possibly talking about. Oh, geez, that was close. Well, then I'm hoping there's a checkpoint up here because otherwise I'm going to be doing a big old climb every time I. D Thank you. <laughs> Arcoli, I don't know what the next game is I'm going to be streaming, but I um, I have many ideas. As a... What is that noise? Oh, is it you? So how do I... How do I get up there? Oh, I'll just blow you up from the middle. That'll do it. Oh, wait. I forgot. Oh, no. That takes me back to the beginning. No, we don't want that. No. Smack them. Smack them. Fack them. And put them in your back them. Water rising must get to higher. Ah, uh, right. You can bugger off. Right, now there's something that breathes fire down there. 
I know that now. Well, I knew that before, but I forgot. Hey! No. Yes. That's the word I wanted to hear. Oh, wait. So if I start the caves... Oh, I see. That's what you're talking to me. Beginning of the... That's what you meant. I see now. Sorry for not understanding what you were talking about. I sometimes think, oh god, I'm responsible for a dog and children. I shouldn't be allowed them. I really shouldn't. Because I don't even know what half the people are talking about. Uh, okay, right, let's just... um. Sort all this out. Nearly there, guys. And then we can do the final bit of the game. See ya! Right, blow all of them up. So how many do I get here? 696. Okay, you get about 400. Okay. Yeah, this is probably the best thing to do. Right, so here we go, back and forth, over and over again. Keep dying, and we'll eventually make it. That is a horrible noise, and it needs to stop. Who decided... Why is that there? Why is that there? And why is it so loud? Oh, this area... I forgot about this. Right, and commit suicide, and try again. Can I make it? No, I can't. Suicide Sponge! He was not happy. And he needed to go. And it's going to take me back here. That's kind of it. Oh, this would take us no time at all. Oh, good idea, whoever suggested it. I'm just going to stand by because I've got to kill myself anyway, right? Oh, yeah, we'll be done in seconds. This is the best idea ever. That is just as loud for you as it is for me, right? Because that's loud. It's louder than my gramp when he's angry. Ah, uh, nearly there. 13,000. Not much longer. <laughs> Getting right in and everyone's saying, yeah, it wasn't in the original. Yep, it's loud. It's loud. Ready? Oh. No. Am I playing... Am I playing Sponge Drowned? This feels like a creepypasta game. It feels like I found a... An illegal bootleg copy by an old man in a garage sale. I sure thought, huh, Spongebob shouldn't be sad. He's usually happy. That's weird. I didn't think it could get much worse. After all, it's only a game, right? It's gonna happen again. I don't know, guys. I don't know. Yeah, I'm crying as well, Sponge. I'm crying as well. Hey, we did it! Okay, well, I'll get the last ones just in case Mr. Krabs decides that the last meant to be a dick and says, Oh, you're one penny short, boy! And then that's it. Like, I've lost. So I'm just going to get these guys one last time. Uh, let's go back to Bikini Bottom, then. Oh, Zootrax makes a good point. Yeah, I could have used the missile. I forget that all of the bits come to you when you blow them up. I forgot. Werewolf monkey or Mr. Krabs sounds more Irish than pirate. They are kind of indistinguishable sometimes. Also, that's because um, I'm quarter Irish. You know, it's in my blood. My granny's Irish, so... Okay, right. No, they don't blow up. Okay, right. Let's sort out Mr. Krabs' greed then. I don't know what he's going to do with these, considering that he needs actual dollars. But, you know, whatever. 
Like, why does he want the shiny objects again? I've forgotten. Thanks, Lucky Ducky, for loving my Lego vid. I made it just for you. And go and see Patrick. Give him his last sock. No, they'll just turn into a ball so I can get there quicker. Up for a game of SpongeBob. This should have been used way more. Or it should have been an ability, like being able to like like a ukulele dash roll or something. So the last two should be in the chum bucket, right? This was a comfortable 100% to do. Yeah, I, I'm going to stand by myself. Yeah, it's had its moments, but this is a great starting point for people wanting to get into collectathons. Sponge drowned because despite being sea creatures, SpongeBob and Patrick can't swim, says Harper Onions. Yes, I, um, um, yeah. Oh, Red Robot 10, thanks for the subscription. They serve food here, yes. But they don't serve love. So you need 75% of the spatulas to get in. I probably would have gone with 70 myself. I think 70 would have been fair for... Oh, fuck me. That's horrifying. Look at that guy. With that big square head and those short shorts. That's the most hideous thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Wait, that hideous thing looks like me. I always knew SpongeBob would be the death of me. Nice delay on the cutscenes again. Don't know why that is. He can't reach it. Yes, yes, it was me all the time. Behold, the duplicato drug. I registered the name, so don't even think of ripping me off. With this, I can make a robot copy of anyone. I was going to make an army does, of... Does anyone think his eyes, his eye looks like a fermented egg? Does anyone see that? Like, you know, like a little chick fetus in there, you know? It looks like an old, really old... What's it called when um, a chick is... It, it's not fermented, is it? Oh. What was it we saw in um, um, Hell's Kitchen earlier? Those those eggs. They were... No, not what they were called. They are left to... Yeah, ferment? Okay, yeah. I love how he makes a robot version of himself that's just as small as he is. So I'm assuming for a final boss, this is going to be like, um, like we're using all the characters because that's been the theme up until this. Oh, shit. Yes, the fish is back. do see do and around you go. He said Great Barrier Reef again. Yes. I guess SpongeBob won't be winning that way. spring breeze. That does it. SpongeBob is back in the Oh, I jumped. I was in the air. Come on. Come now. SpongeBob. That does it. SpongeBob is back in the fight. This is giving me serious engine vibes from Crash 2. SpongeBob has an opportunity here. An opportunity to do what? Oh, to missile, I forgot. Suck it to him, SpongeBob. So I might as well just stay in the same place. No, I can't. No, 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 I can't. I cannot stay in the same place. Plankton called me out. I'm sorry, Plank. Yeah, this is giving me serious, like, um, engine from Crash 2, Twin Sanity engine kind of vibes. With a bit of Dingadile thrown in. The rockets on Robot SpongeBob's legs are really making me uncomfortable. I'm just imagining SpongeBob's actual legs throbbing like that. And it's making me feel very uneasy. Also, have I got to smack him while, after he's done firing at me? Right, okay. Ay, ay. Oh, God, they want you to, like, jump at the very top of your jump. I'm probably not going to make it at this point. I've come to accept that. But at least there's some health. Okay, go. Can I hit them all while I'm here? Oh, okay. I thought I had to. So the only t the only reason he does that is to stop you from um, it's to give you an opportunity to hit his um, 
his hands. That's that's the only reason that's there. Right, I see. I thought I had to wait for him to do his series of attacks. Great Barrier Reef! Oh, I tried to double jump that. Didn't work. Yeah, I've used all the pans, so I think I'm out of this. Because I can't imagine this is the only phase. I, 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 I think there's going to be more. Is it though? Can I hit from the side? Yeah, I can't. Okay, well, he's not letting me hit him on the side, interestingly. Oh god, Plankton got in the way. Okay, let's try again. Get you up there. Then I've got to make him do the hand attack so that he's still and I can hit the final bit. Karate. <laughs> right, I've got to wait for him to do his hand move. Um, unless he's not going to let me stay up here. Is he going to just keep karateing? Right, he's going to do that. Right, I'm going to jump over this fucking hand swipe if it kills me. Well, the idea is that I don't want it to kill me. I can't get the timing right. Oh, is that it? I got an achievement for it. Uh, oh. Okay, I thought there'd be like three phases with all the characters or something. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Shouldn't it float to the top of the sea if it's inflatable? Oh, right. So we're doing a Doctor Who going on, going in to operate on a Dalek thing. Right, okay. The robot is getting bigger, says Soaking Wet. And it would only, it would only be taken the wrong way if Soaking Wet said it. Let's be real. Thanks for the 311 bits. Okie dokie, right, so I'm going to just go ahead and assume that... Hmm. Maybe the other golden spatula is inside here. I'm not 100% on that, though. That's a, that is a massive guess from my behalf. Oh, hey. How are you? Not happy? Okay, that's fine. Can I hit you again? Sort you out. Ah, there we go. What happens if I jump on this? Oh. <laughs> okay, the game just said, no, you're not doing that. Uh. Okay, let's do this again. Okay, so smack that. I mean, I'm, I'm, I, I, when I say I assume that the final golden spatula is hidden in here somewhere, that is a big assumption. I have no idea. A big ass of, um, from, yeah. Oh, this is getting silly now. What, what did I do wrong? It was too low, really? Again, it just, it feels like this ending is just making shit up as it go, oh shit, no. It feels like to me the ending is just making stuff up as it goes along, like making up its own rules. Quick, 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 quick. Oh, I swung. I didn't realize you could swing them back. <laughs> that was great. Come here. Oh, didn't work. Okay. Smack them in the fuck them. Yeah, it's doing the same thing that um, Mr. Krabs' dream did in the SpongeBob's dream level, where you got to, like, attack to make things activate, which is just ridiculous. It's like the only two times in the game it happens. It's like, we need to make this final boss hard. How do we do that? Yeah, let's just make it up as we go along. Wait, what? Hey. Oh, wait. Oh, don't be that specific. Come on. How does it matter how it broke?
Goodbye! Okay, right. Oh, we gotta do the bowling. Okay, that's fine. Too much? Okay. Got it. Sweet. Oh, there he is again. Okay. In the face. See, like they didn't they didn't expect me to do the bum bash to get that, you know? Okay, right. Well, now that I know that you can smash those things back to the um, missile throwing robots, I'm going to do that now. I didn't realize you could do that. It's a great hidden mechanic, I suppose you could call it. Oh, fuck off. Yeah, and you can fuck off too. I'm not even going to let you start attacking me. Just, go, just get out of my face. Just go. Okay, now what do we do? Okay, that one apparently was weak to missiles, but the other one wasn't. It was weak to my head. My spongy, absorbent head. Okay. Ooh, where are we going? Ah, we're here. My favorite place. Oh, now we're here. My second favorite place. Hey, Plank. Bye. Uh, I don't know if there's, like, something I should grab. But... Oh, where are we going? Okay, and then we go here. Oh, shit. Oh, I bet you that spatula was from, like, hitting plankton enough times or something. I bet you. I've already fucked up if that's the case anyway. Oh, maybe that's what I have to do. Oh, no, I've got to take the missile in there, haven't I? Ah, clever. I like this. Okay. One. Oh, he's still waiting for me over there. <laughs> That's nice of him. Oh, go away. Where's he going? Plank, where are you gone? Oh, I think he got upset and left. Okay. Oh, come on. So the enemies can have a splash radius with their attacks, but I can't. That's fair. Okay. Now what? Is there another one somewhere? Oh, maybe it was on the other plat. I thought there might have been two, but no, there might be three, mightn't there? Right, now let's try. Where did Plankton go exactly? He's just vanished. He's just gone. He peaced out. He just fucked off. We did it. Where did I get the two spatulas from? Did I get the spatula from beating the first sponge robot? I don't know. I, I, I'm not, I really am not sure. I, I don't know, but it, who cares? I, I won, so it's fine. Let's finish this off, shall we? And I think that was all three achievements. I think, yeah, that was the complete achievement as well. So I think I've, I think I've done it. 100% achievement rating on Steam. Another one in the bag. Yeah, so when do, so I you got them from the boss. So you get two for the boss. Or did I get one from the boss and then another one for the second part of the boss? I don't know. Either way I got it right. That does it. I'm becoming a lawyer. You haven't defeated me yet. I still have lots of robots all over the key bottom. I'll summon them all and then we'll Oh, how is this gonna end then? Plankton, I love the throbbing dick machine you've got in the back there. Oh, yeah. I'll destroy you plus one. Well, I'll destroy you plus Oh, Skidaro, yeah, thank you so much for clearing that up. I was very confused. I thought that was one boss. Thank you, Jameson2020, for the 250 bits. Here's two bits per spatula collected, an extra 50 for 100% in the game. Congrats. Thank you so much.
That'd be funnier if there wasn't a stupid delay where I saw him step on him before I heard the sound. Sandy hasn't said anything. Did the voice actress just give up? Oh no, there she is. Okay. No, we're done. We've we've we finished it. No, there isn't. I've done everything. It is. I've done everything. I have. I've, I've got an achievement for 100% completion. I've done everything. There's nothing else I can do. Are you ready, kids? Aye, aye, is this the secret ending? Is this the 100% ending? Because if so, that's a weird thing to to put after the immediate cutscene of, oh, we need to finish everything off. Jesus, I just thought. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. Don't you dare copyright strike me. Right, mute you. Okay, right, let's go back to the game. Ah, it's just like after watching the wall review by the Nostalgia Critic. Totally worth it. Hey, look, guys, after you sit through that, you get SpongeBob theme. <laughs> oh. I guess I can now, um, wait a minute. I can probably take the audio back in now. Let's do it. There we go. I'm rollerific. So we are racing now? And it thinks now I'm using a mouse when I'm not using a mouse? You pretty cat, take it. These are all ones. If they were if they if this was like Spyro 1 and you got like hundreds of thousands of shiny objects, then I would be like, yeah, this this is worth it, but this is ridiculous. Oh. The best, best credit scene ever. I don't know what happened there. <laughs> um, well, there we go. I think that is, that's complete, isn't it? Okay, right. So let's save the game here. Did it in two and a half hours. Sweet. Nicely done. Nicely done. Jack of all trades and master of sponge. Thank you so much. Soaking wet for the 143. Once again, weirdly specific um, <laughs> bit donation there. Thank you. And, um, what? Robos? Robo Squidward mode? Okay, are people. Museum? What museum? What? What, you mean the, the theater? Is that what you're talking about? This bit over here? I can't go into the theatre, I need 40k, I'm not fucking paying that. I help you. I'm not paying that shit. Oh, there's an extra mode? No, I'm not doing the fucking theatre, I've got my achievements. Okay, I'm gonna do multiplayer because this sounds funny. Okay, wait a second. So I saved the game already, back to the main menu. I'm gonna try out the multiplayer for a bit, this sounds fun. Um, join online game, I guess. Yeah! It's the best online mode ever! Um. <laughs> okay. Um, local multiplayer, I guess. Honey, do you want to join in? It's alright, the music has stopped. It's okay. Do you want to join in, honey? You're not going to be on camera. You'll just be playing. Yeah, you're not going to be on camera unless I move the camera over. It's okay. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go get it. Oh dear. Right. Okay. So, Keris has now picked up the other controller. It says blue on the screen. You can be Gary. How can this be underwhelming? You're gonna be Gary, okay. Yeah. I'm gonna be, um... 
Well, why does everyone say Robo Squidward? Like, well, I'm gonna be Squidward just for the lols. Okay, so what's what are we doing? That game hasn't even told us what we're doing. Okay, so we move around. You move around. We jump. <laughs> That's my attack. Some square. Oh, you got a frying pan. Uh, that's all I can do. Oh, I can b bum bash as well. If you jump and then hit circle, you do a bum bash. Okay, right. So we jump on here, I guess, together. You doing all right, honey? Oh, this is Robo Squidward. Right, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Let's see what this is. Let's see what this is. Okay, it looks interesting. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. So, next wave. Oh, so we're just fighting enemies. Okay. So we just got to fight them off with square. And I guess this is all it is. I bet you this is all it is. And it's nice that I've got a ranged attack, but it's not very powerful. Wow, guys, this is thrilling. <laughs> you're, just, you're just hitting everyone. That's all you got to do. Yeah, we did it, honey. Look. We're good at games. Okay. Well, I mean, I'm glad I didn't find an online game because I'd hate to look, make a fool of myself in... Oh, honey. <laughs> you can't leave me alone in this very difficult game. Oh, there you are. Yeah, I'd hate to have joined into an online game where everyone's way better at this very difficult mode than I am. I mean, I don't want to make a fool of myself, you know? Okay, well, this is where you got to do the bum bash on them. Well done. Wow. I, 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 it's, it's, it's nice how they wanted to try and get different modes in there for different people, but... Like, oh yeah, so yeah, maybe maybe the kids all don't have, um, maybe they don't all have single player, maybe they don't want single player, maybe they want to have a quick game with their brothers or sisters or whatever. This is boring as hell. <laughs> oh look, we're in a donut now. This is exciting. Thank you, Winter Solstice, for the subscription. Oh, you died. Oh, what a shame. You're missing out. Oh, there you are. You came back. So what's... So you come back after every wave? So what's the point? Don't forget you had to, yeah, bum bash. And don't... Oh, careful! And don't forget about um, double jumping as well. I mean, the only thing I can say that's great about this mode is the fact that you can play as Gary and Squidward's attack is blowing on his clarinet. Because I thought he'd just extend his nose out and um, and hit people with it like a giant sock. I need... I, I just told you about the double jump. I... The double jump. <laughs> the double jump. Did you hit jump twice? Oh, honey. Well, you'll be back in a second. It's it's okay. You'll be back in a second. Yeah, see, you're back. So, okay, so, okay, so we'll do... Wow, this is thrilling. <laughs> this is thrilling as fuck. Okay, honey, I'm gonna... We're gonna do this island. And then you are going to get across the next platforming bit to the next island without dying. And then we will... Uh, yeah, that's what you're going to do. We'll keep going until you don't die from the platforming. If you die here, that's fine. But if you die from the platforming... Then that's a, that's a different story because you have not yet to survive a platforming segment. Oh, there's someone over here. Okay, here we go, honey. You can do this. Okay, you can do this. Double jump. Yeah, that's it. Remember? Yeah. <laughs> you double jumped into the water. 
<laughs> oh my god. Okay, someone in the chat said there's 25 islands. Fuck this. I'm not. No, I'm not doing that. Quick game. Okay. Well, look, there we go, guys. There we go. Oh my goodness gracious, guys. Who's causing a. Si what's, what's going on? Someone ban or block him. Ban who? Who who's being who are we talking about banning? Sorry, the chat has to has to it has to, it takes a while for the chat to catch up with me. Who who are we talking about banning? What's going on? Oh, the gut the the Yurubi, the one that was constantly talking about how bad other games are. Yeah, that that it. I don't think anyone's interested, to be honest. And there's pro there's probably a forum somewhere related to Spyro, related to Crash, that you could go on and yell into the abyss as much as you want. You know. Okay, they give up. Yeah, good. Because it's it's irrelevant and it's it is and it's kind of it. Well, there you go. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, <laughs> problem solved. <laughs> You're a B, I I win. Yes, he said I win. You, oh, she, he, she, you win, Caddy. Yes, I, yes, I do win. I always win. Have you seen? Have you seen my thirty-two out of thirty-two achievement medal on SpongeBob SquarePants? You can't fuck with me. Anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna raid somebody. Who should I raid? Um, oh, we got, oh, we got a raid. Um. Uh Let's raid Thaf. Let's raid Thaf. Let's do that. Anger the raid Thaf. Raid I think that's how I think that's how you spell his name anyway. Yeah, Thaf9. There we go. Yeah. Anyway, guys, thanks for joining me on this um 100% journey of SpongeBob. Um it was good fun. I would give it a solid 8 out of 10. High 8, low 9. There's a, a couple of too many flaws to do with the checkpoint system. The character swapping is a little bit imbalanced. And, like, the yeah, the checkpoint system is a little bit broken when you consider that, like, you get sent back so far and then you have to get all the shit over again um, and you can't tell where um, certain out-of-bounds areas are. So it seems a little bit unfair when you get sent back that far when you can't help what's happened. But also... Um, Oh yeah, and the last few levels they kind of ran out of ideas of what to do. But um, it's 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 a good game. It's a solid collectathon. It's a great place to start if you're looking to get into it. It's comfortable to 100%, not too frustrating. It's a good time. So yeah, I recommend it. Um, bye everybody. That's all I can say. <laughs>